I'd totally fuck a reptilian. Oh, I love an abortion spa. Alien murder sex. Welcome to Alien Murder, murder Sex. Hi. 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 How you doing? So yeah. good. Yeah, um, so good. So good. I've had a terrible week in capitalism, but hey, I'm here. I've had a wild week in uh, cross-country adventures in tattooing and grand theft. Kid, and kids, start your own business so that you can have her life instead of my life. Start. <laughs> Y'all, I am not a baller, but... But life's good. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. Yeah, and this is... Um, the incomparable Don Bandito, Kevin Sanchez. Kevin Sanchez, abortion survivor. Abortion, abortion survivor. survivor. Yeah. How does it How does it feel to have that title? Well, I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't know I was an abortion survivor till I was like twenty four, twenty five. And what hurtful argument were you having <laughs> that got thrown in your face? <laughs> nah, nah, I wanted to meet my father because right. my father didn't know I existed. Never meet your heroes. Well, <laughs> he ain't my hero. Okay. But he kind of is now after I got some information about him. Like, he has a bunch of children. He made some money. He has some fincas in Dominican Republic. That's a fo- Those are the farms. So I wanted to meet him, but then I was like, I, I need to become something before like I meet this man. Okay. Anyway. so That's my, a lot to put on your own shoulders. I know. That is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, you know what it is? I don't, because he has a lot more children, and I have a lot more siblings. And you to, wanted to be the best one. I didn't want them to think I was coming for his stuff. Okay, right. You could have just told him that or made a legal document. They're like, hey, They're I'm like, not trying to get in this will. I just want a dad. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't trust I don't trust poor people mm. in those countries. I, like, don't I don't trust poor people either. I don't <laughs> trust myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are not to be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. Poor yeah, you're right. I don't trust myself because <laughs> I will come for it if I'm poor. Right. I'll be like, hey, guys, you guys all stink. And he going to love me. Mm-hmm. He going to, this guy got something. They don't got it. Whatever it is, they don't got. Right. You know. So you were twenty five at the time. When did uh, he tell you that you were no, a support? My, my older brother. I didn't grow up my older brother. So my none old- of your parents did. The sibling that like didn't get almost aborted was like, dude, I got to tell you something. You almost didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Well, he was like. He goes, did you know? He just threw it out there. He goes, mm-hmm. you know, you were an abortion. You were supposed to be an abortion. What was her technique? Coat hanger or a pill or did she get? Did we go to an office? Did your dad just punch her in the stomach? How old school was this? So my father, the way he courted my mother was he whipped out his dick at a store in Dominican Republic. She said, "Oh, that's, that's so her. sweet. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to that. see the old traditions are yeah. still alive." Yeah, you know who told me that well. story? Who? My mother. Oh, that's beautiful. And it was the most beautiful cock I'd ever seen. And yeah. I just yeah. fell in Actually, love that, right then and there in the would, cereal aisle. And I knew I needed his Captain Crunch for the rest of my life. Yeah, <laughs> that would work on me. That would work on me because I've not I've dumped guys because their dick was small. I'd like to just know up front. So my mom respected it. <laughs> <laughs> and her husband was in New York selling drugs. I like your mom. As you do. I like your mom. So um, mom dukes was getting it on for months and the her her man's in New York was getting deported because he got caught selling drugs. Mm-hmm. As you she do. She found out she was pregnant and she basically took a boat ride to Puerto Rico to get an abortion. Okay. I, I'm all kind of wow, that's a long traveling journey to get an abortion. She must have been really set on it because she had all that time on the boat to reconsider. Well, here's the thing. In DR, the way they got abortions in the nineties, it was through these uh it's like a an elixir. Oh, cool. Okay. But yeah. the problem is like drinking Lysol or something. Yes. Yeah. But the problem with that is DR is very tiny. And you only certain women in the in the in those areas know how to make it. So word word is gonna get around that this bitch is pregnant. To one of her uh, her her man's like brother or cousin, or yeah. and they were like, "Yo, I heard that bitch," t-. and then that's how you die in the nineties in DR. Mm-hmm. Nobody finding your body, right? Right. So my mom was pregnant with me. She was gonna take that elixir in Puerto Rico, right? Mm-hmm. She does, and it wasn't made well. It didn't work. I, or... So the story, the from I because I tried I confront him. Not confront. I don't want to say that. You brought it up. I brought it up. Because my mom abandoned us mm-hmm. also. Well, that's a good reason to bring it up. Hey, you abandoned me and you tried to kill but me? I, yeah, so I wanted Who to... did she leave y'all with? If well, your father a better, was a better drug, drug dealer? Uh, I, uh, she left... Well, 
foster care handled it. Oh. So ah, no the family, system. the system handled it. I would love. I want to do more bits now about foster care and adoption because I'm I'm ready now. Yeah, and just a better comedian. And I knew not to do it in the beginning. She could have. I don't think I could, but. Well, you weren't I, emotionally ready to process. I was also like, I remember one time I tried to talk about it and I almost started crying. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can't be a bitch. Up I can't here. talk about shit my mom did yet, and I'm like old, so it's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's weirdly There's difficult because you 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 fucking suppress it for so Crack long, it and it becomes down. part of your coping mechanisms mm-hmm. and your personality, and then it's you, the core you're piece biased. of your armor. Right, you know, it's it's that fucking hole in the fucking Death Star. And everything else is impenetrable, but that <laughs> that one, one that one piece thing. of trauma. And if in you there. get it in there, and you get some finger fucking going on on alien murder sex, you come to the conclusion that you can finally make fun of it. Yes. So I, I've come to that. But anyway, so <laughs> I try to confirm, like, ask my mom about it. She was like, basic. She answered one or two things, but she couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was hurting her too. Like, oh shit! Now he knows. He knows. He knows what a terrible person. Not only person. I, I try to give up. I mean, I she really went through with giving us up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I just found out last year, my bro, my little brother, is also an abortion survivor. She just kept doing this. But, it, but was, you know, your mom is terrible at abortions. Did she do one more <laughs> after him? Is there another sibling? Or did the third time work? You know, she's just... Who knows how many times... She's tried. She's tried. Or how many times it did work. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So does your mom not believe in birth control? Or like... No, she's well, they're the Catholic, 90s. right? It's the 90s. She hated... Are they Catholic hated... in DR? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Okay, so there's no birth control in she DR. She hated condoms because she thought Jesus... Oh, I love this. She didn't use birth control because Jesus would punish her. But abortion? abortion? Totally fine because Jesus doesn't see that. Because well, it's in the Bruja mix. You should do a whole thing about okay. Catholicism and uh, the, like, hip- sh- hypocrisy of The hypocrisy mother. of Spanish oh, I gotta people send you the photo shoot. is I just crazy it, when it comes yeah. to that. I'm sorry. I no, it's no okay. you're fine. She did a whole anti-Catholic photo shoot How recently. did we get here? Oh, yeah. Abortion survivor. Yo, dog. <laughs> All the way to hating Catholicism. So this whole, <laughs> she goes to the hospital because she's still feeling a type of way. Mm-hmm. And they go like, congratulations, you pregnant. Oh, fuck. And she's like, and she's no! Like, she runs, like, suppose the story goes, or well, the way she told me was she ran out the hospital. Like, I, I, yo, I ain't gonna keep him now. Did she believe that, like, God wanted you? Like, you were special because you survived? Yeah. I Do you so. feel like you've disappointed God and his plan thus far? Nah. Good. Nah, I don't. I really don't. Because, yo, the shit I had to survive. You're right. It, like, well, yeah. Yeah. But nah. that's also a lot on your shoulders. So if, then, wait, if, what wait. happened when you went to meet your dad, though? Oh, I pussied out. If I was you, I would constantly be feeling like I have so much to live up to because I survived an abortion and I'm like wasting my life. Well, I'm not. Good thing for me, I grew up in the school system of New York City, mm-hmm. in public school in Harlem. Where they will tell you, yeah, I'm probably not gonna make it past 26, 27 years uh, old. They would so just like, let you know. in my head, I'm like, you're already is, ahead of the game. I'm, yeah. I'm so, I'm 31. Somebody's already taken it's, a hit at you. That's the thing we Dude, were talking about. It just hit me that I'm still alive. Right. Recently. Yeah. Like, it, that 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 th- oh shit, I'm alive. Yeah, they, you they made were it. Wrong. So it always, we talked about this earlier. Lower the bar, and you can be successful. Like, you said that. You said that as soon as you yeah, walked in. Yeah, because like with my parents, you know, I was supposed to be this fucking child genius. Didn't happen. Why were you supposed to be a child genius? Because my dad is a fucking genius a computer scientist. Were you the firstborn or the, the second only. Born? The only. Right. That's not fair. So I was supposed to be this fucking, and I was like playing piano when I was five and doing all this art shit, but like I'm like, I've- So like, you're- I have dyscalculia with math. and I was supposed to be like a math prodigy and I just, I'm in retard math my whole <laughs> life. So, like, you know, didn't, and then I went and shot heroin under a bridge for a few years, but that was great because I brought the bar back down. Back down. Way and down. then it's like, you just lived. What do you, when you say under a bridge, literally, are you saying, like, you being real? The Burnside real, Bridge real. in Portland, Oregon. You but can Google map it. Because I think of crack houses. Oh, no, see, and, and no, those have walls. Right. Just the that's, bridge. That's what I'm asking. I usually just, was that, is that like, because, you know, I heard the saying I do, that person does crack under the bridge, mm-hmm. but. All the crackheads I know do it in buildings. It's West Coast. So West Coast is different? The weather's better. Well, there are crack there are crack houses. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah. You can sleep outside longer. Yeah. In L- shorter shorter places. winters. Yeah. 
And it's really I nice. It makes a lot of fucking sense. I mean, if you can be homeless anywhere, like it's oh, the West Coast. get sent to Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii. When they sent tons all them of homeless, homeless people. people out to Hawaii, like what? you're just homeless wait, on the wait, beach. What you mean we sent homeless people? We sent to homeless Hawaii. people. LA Hawaii. sent the homeless people. So you to saying Hawaii. if I become homeless, I got a free trip to Hawaii? Yep. Get your we ass to the chair. West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> LA did that. You can get your little cute, cute shopping cart. Mm-hmm. You can get your little cute, cute tar. Cute heroin addiction, so mm. the, nothing bothers well, what's you. What's popular in Hawaii right now? What's the drug? It's probably it's opium. Well, no, it's, it's no. I mean, opium. opiates, opiates. Sorry, it's, be opiates. it's oxycotton. Didn't well, you ever it might watch? Actually, be opium. Didn't you ever watch Dog the Bounty Hunter? He was in Hawaii. It was all, was oh, all oxycotton. Oh God, you're right. And there's meth. Dog Tons the of meth. Bounty Hunter was in Hawaii. Yeah, that's a season I need to see. Yeah. Was he always in Hawaii? I, or? I think he was. I, I don't no, watch. I, I never feel watched. like he started out like somewhere in California. Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. Or maybe it just like started in Texas and moved west. And then they were like, we need the dog in Hawaii. But um, so homeless, literally under a bridge. So like I ran away from a bad situation. I, like with, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like fucked up and been raped and things were bad. So I got off this bus and I literally it was like a movie. I heard hippie drum beats in the distance. And I just followed the drum beats until I found this park full of fucking hippies. This is back in 2001, no, 2002, 2003, just smoking weed in broad daylight. No one's stopping them. In Portland. In Portland, Oregon. Was it not legal yet? No. Water, nothing was legal Mm -hmm. on the waterfront, just doing drugs, passing around mushrooms. And I was like, what side of heaven have I stumbled upon? (laughs) And I just went and lived with them. And then I like had to do the meth, you know, and then I got- You had to do the well, meth? Well, you know, if everyone around you is doing meth and you, you don't- You do meth. You do meth. Cause then can I ask you a question? Can a pothead just chill with meth heads? Yo, they, that was the Riverfront family. The Portland You probably have chilled with meth heads your entire life you don't and just know had it. no idea. First of all, I know I know I have because I'm in a sales job and all they do is Adderall. So yes, I've been oh, around meth heads. Meth all day. That's because I, I grew up on Adderall and then I was smoking meth and it didn't cr- crack me out and they were like- is she a fucking narc? Why does she have such a fucking tolerance? Like That I was, makes no sense. Because I'd been on Adderall my whole no, life. No, no, these idiots calling you a narc. They thought I was a narc. You had, because you thought, had a high tolerance. They thought, they That's the a, dumbest thing I've ever they, heard They of thought a, I wasn't doing it. Like, uh, like she was see, just like they taking they it and like see hiding smoking. it. Yo, but they're on meth. drugs. They're on meth. <laughs> they're creating their own reality. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't like meth heads. I know. I don't either. It's why I quit. I, <laughs> but you're not a meth head right now. I and neither are you. I but I'm saying that I can't be yeah. around them. They're too wild. Well, I don't know what they're gonna do next. I know. I know. I used to fucking steal vacuum cleaners and pawn them and like break out of hotel rooms and repel over traffic with bed sheets and fucking like yeah. I didn't. It's, it's too much. I was in Kentucky. I don't have time for that. Doing a comedy show. And my boy, I invited my boys from the army. The boys. I've been the boys. So, I've been sober sixteen years. Just sixteen. To, I know. I yeah. Know. Just to lay that out there. But we're going to do meth right after this episode, so fuck that. I mean, if... No. Oh, you can't see it. Funkadelic? Funkadelic. That's that's more of a weed thing. That is a weed thing. Yeah, we could do shrooms. Yeah. I don't don't need meth heads. So you brought them boys. So I'm in Kentucky. My boy, my boy Waldrop, he brings his his friend group. And one of them, he said, yo, he's recovering. But he fell off the wagon. Is that what it is? Fall off the wagon? Yeah, and you off. can fall off the wagon. Fall off or, or, or you get back no, on no, the wagon? No, no, on is sober. Yeah. On is sober, off yeah. is The wagon is very sober. <laughs> <laughs> it's rickety, but it's dry. Yeah, it's super dry. <laughs> it's, there's no fun on the wagon. There is. There can be fun in the wagon. Well, there's fucking on the wagon. That's all, that's all right, I have there's left. There's a good light show addictions. on the wagon. Right, well, why do you think? Well, you know, some people get addicted to sex Christ. You at some point? And well, some people get addicted to cigarettes and coffee. Right. So, you know, so you just people... move the energy. I was addicted to working out after I got sober. I was addicted. That's a great addiction. Mm-hmm. I did. I mean, it was I'm took a workaholic. It, I took it so Are you? far. Mm. Yeah, I, and there's something. You, you a tattoo artist? No, I'm a hairstylist. Hairstylist. I'm sorry, because you said I heard something about tattoos. That no, I I, well, because I had gone out to Oakland to get tattooed. Okay. Yeah. This is making more sense now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, the energy will just switch. If you don't deal with the trauma that's the gateway to addiction, the energy just stays, and you just yes. do I'm addicted things. to food, and that's embarrassing. I was a food addict. I used to ride, a, I used to ride my bicycle to get pints of ice cream. Wow. But did you ride your bicycle down Protection Ave? And then you would lie to yourself, right? You'd be like, you I burned enough calories. Enough. I used to be really fat. I'll show you We pictures. haven't talked about it yet. Oh, wait. This is our sponsor. Affiliate. Affiliate. What is this? Uh, these are protection keychains for women. So, you know, oh. if you're riding your bike to get ice cream, you can uh, <laughs> hop <laughs> onto protectionavenue.com or If you get that vanilla Instagram. bean ice cream. 
yo, a motherfucker may try to fuck around and find out. And you may need to pull out your handmade wristlet with your key knife if you're watching this on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's a stab stab. Um, Kibaton, it is not a weapon, not a weapon for legal reasons. Not an anal toy, not an anal toy for just don't. And this is a car alarm that's really annoying. Because what can prevent rape better than pissing people off? Yelling with fire, an alarm? yelling fire will work. Nobody, cares nobody about, gives a shit about a fire anymore or rape. <laughs> rape, rape, rape. Keep it down. <laughs> I, uh, I often wonder what would I do if I was walking and I heard that. Rape. Right. You'd yeah. pull out your Citizen app and add it to Citizen. Oh you would. And then you would go citizen to app. Protection <laughs> Avenue and you would grab your combination and you would use our code at checkout, Alien Murder Sex 666 six, 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 six. for 10% off. <laughs> That's the best. So <laughs> glad I did not forget to do that. Love you, Gio. <laughs> so, um, yeah, cool. So this guy was on recovery. Was he like, they were local? Oh, they were also, Kentucky folk? So they were Kentucky Were folk. they Hill folk? No, they weren't Hill folk. They're more closer to the city. They would have tried to rape okay. you if they were Hill you folk. You think so? I, I mean, I've you're pretty. Man have, you, have you seen the hills have you eyes? Have you look at those eyes? Look yeah, at that lips. Look at those eyelashes. Right, guys. You got those pouty yeah. lips, like guys, You could do gay, gay for boys, pay. Boys, you like, sucking a dick. You have a beautiful you, face to get fucked. Me, I would love to see a dick in your. mouth. I would love to see a dick in your mouth. It's it's gorgeous. Look at those yeah. lips. He has the best. <laughs> Look at this cherub smile too. He's incredible. Oh, dick sorry, 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 I can't handle it. Yeah. Those <laughs> hill folk would have just run him through. Oh, run him. Yeah. They would have been like squeal, <laughs> squeal, Dominican boy. <laughs> Look at those lips. No, no I, I pray to God every because my gay brother's life is so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go God. So you should try it. I, I'm like God. Just make it. Make is, me love it. I would love to be gay in 2023. Right. Right. Not in. Not no. when he started. <laughs> ten years ago. When no. he started, ten years ago. No, ten, not a good time yeah. to be gay. He was. My brother's a gangster gay. My my brother. I, I don't know. I've heard some other people say that shit. Y'all not gangster gays like my brother's What's a gangster, gangster gay? gay. My brother was gay in Harlem in 2001, 2002, 2003, when 2004, I was 2005. Like my like when everything was no homo, when when it was like super fucking like you will get fucked up for being gay, but right. this motherfucker was so gay. It was gay. like Jamaica. In Harlem? Yeah. It kind of Back, was. Yeah. <laughs> it really was, yo. He was out here. Right. He Good for him. Out so here. he just had to be harder than everybody, everybody else. else. He probably had a gun. He's like, I will fuck your face. Mm. Nah, here's the thing. Flamboyant. Mm -hmm. That's how. That's and, why, to me, he's gangster. Right. He wasn't trying to be gangster and be like, yeah, take it up. What oh, kind of style did he have? Fire. It was fire. Was it? Every year he was fire. Was he was it ahead like of pimp? his time every year. Pimp or like? He was Kanye in 2000. Ooh. When Kanye didn't come out to 2003. Got it. You understand what Got I'm it. saying? He's that Trendsetter. guy. Trendsetter. Trendsetter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Kanye with fashion, we mm -hmm. get it. He knew Gaga before Gaga was Gaga. Yeah, and you did too, didn't you? Did you know people that knew her? Yeah. Yeah. He was a wild boy, and he didn't give a fuck. Did I'm... he do hair? He did. <gasps> do you know him? That's the survival tactic. If you do hair... He didn't do hair to wait later, wait later. But you can survive anywhere. That's you can true. do anything. That's true. Anywhere. What you need, I do hair. Oh, my brother, my brother has a, I don't know, what, what is that called when you know how to make money? This is, you just, one of those people that are like, you could just make money. Um, a Capricorn? <laughs> like, he has a nose for money. Better than everybody? He is better a, than a, everybody. An expert capitalist? My brother? My brother is better than everybody. Right. In my opinion, I, he really is. He, I mean, I feel that because I do feel like my brother is better than everyone. Is he also a gangster gay? No, he's like a former military intelligence Captain America shit. And you, yes, he's better than everybody. He's it's better just than true. everybody. It's just true. If you and my brother, I mean, like, if your if brother we and my were brother, ten years old right now, I would be like, my brother could <laughs> fight your brother. Yeah, but my brother would suck your brother's dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yo, I remember asking. You know what? I had to ask my brother. I was like, I just got. Is go. this your older brother? My older brother. Okay. He, I, I didn't meet say, him until I was fifteen. Is this the other abortion survivalist? No, no, no. He was. The, like his mom knew that he was good. He was, he was good. He, he was didn't fine. try to abort that one. And he's a. That was a good son. She knew that we know of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she might have tried with everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, in the dr, you know, mm -hmm. is kind of you know the Catholic shit is real. So she wanted to get out the house. Oh, the only okay. way to get out of the house is what in those times? You gotta, I don't know, not be pregnant? Get married. Uh, That's oh, the only way you're getting right. out of your parents' gotcha, house. Gotcha. This, is a, this is a different if world. If another remember, man remember takes you out. Uh, I know of that world. Do you? Yeah. Your parents in Portland were... No, 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 I'm from Texas. It's a long story. Oh, shit! It's a long story. 
I grew up Catholic, though. Yeah. Did you? Win? In a military family. Oh. I grew up with a South African mother that was from a different time. In, in I, I don't know why I want to laugh. So <laughs> no, no, she's, do do in, we want to just keep like adding on the shit? I'm also a middle child. I'm a triple Scorpio. Let's go. I have yeah. BPD. Triple, what the fuck like I just my, my mom was an AIDS researcher in the 90s, but she didn't have any like accreditation <laughs> to do that. She fucking like we're not locked in here with you. She was You're a locked con. in here with us. <laughs> 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 she was she was a con artist. She used to lock Frank me in puts the a fucking <laughs> chair there. He goes, now nah, you can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for our next victim, that Frank. Sounds like uh, my Tinder dates. Much. Yeah, good luck. Are you Welcome on Tinder? Still? No, I'm married now. Okay. Yeah, it was a it was a hellscape. It could be an open marriage. No, it's not because he's not down like that. Mm, good for him. I guess so. I cocked a man <laughs> in, oh, no in North Carolina. That's great. Not really. Like he in a hotel room, like he, he sat in the his chair house, and he watched his house. So you fucked and he watched. He didn't watch. I mean, no. I think he watched. I think they had cameras in the room. Oh, he recorded. I'm sure. Are you he okay? Did he make you sign like a record? Like you're okay with no, being recorded? No, I, I, I mean at the time it was everything. It doesn't was matter because he's on his property. Ah, that's. I don't know. North Carolina could be different though. North Carolina, he could have watched him fuck his wife and shot him in the face and still not that's, needed any sort of release. So this is what's crazy about that is. Oh, you know, maybe he would like, sorry, serial killer talk. Like maybe he would just get, get somebody to cock and then he would sit there with a the gun and then he would shoot you and be like, he fucked my wife. And just because he exactly, likes to kill. Cause I, saw, I saw Get Out. <laughs> I literally just saw Get Out. Yeah. And you I was, it was like, uh, I, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, that's a one party consent state. So. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I lied. I was in North Carolina. I was he in, was watching remotely? No, 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 no. I was in South Carolina. Their house was in South Carolina. I was staying in North Carolina. Okay, but you went to South Carolina where the- But they can have different laws. The sex to Where in South Carolina? They because they will shoot you in Yeah, the South Carolina is more this is crazy. red than North Carolina. So th th that's why I don't think South Carolina might not- They might not have the two parties. That's why he had you travel. Party. So- That's why they wouldn't meet you in North Carolina. That's why I, Well, I wanted to meet- We met at a-, at a Me and that woman met- at a restaurant mm -hmm. and then she said let's go back home but she never mentioned her husband oh. was there oh my god was there any evidence of children in the house she did she had children she told me okay oh okay but they weren't were there. they home they weren't no. of course i would never have gone to the children one day i mean just put them in a different room what's the nah, door nah, nah nah i would but nah, you know i can't i can't do that that's nice um I, I i fucked a few single baby mamas and it, it gets awkward when the children are around or start crying yes well, then you can just fuck louder. As long as she doesn't call you daddy. Yeah. She was. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's yeah. awkward. That's yeah. awkward. So this well, is my daddy, the and then that brings your trauma back up, and then it's oh, just you're like, you're, you're just rocking the in the corner oh. like this child thinks it's your daddy, and his daddy, and my daddy, and your daddy, and yeah. her daddy. Do I have a plan daddy? B for her? Daddy? Oh, daddy? Do you love me yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your daddy, but I need love from my daddy, and I'm this child's daddy. <laughs> Sex, uh, Theo Vaughn has said this, and is uh, ever since I heard it's always wrong, true to me. Sex is for children, okay. Like, it's for like what, what, what he meant by that. I should fucking explain is after a certain age, it does get weird. Oh, gotcha. It, it, it's I, like I'm, I'm too heady about it, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, I gotta get a little tipsy, I, got, mm -hmm. I can't. You'll think too much about how it's affecting the child because you're an empathetic Which, person. Well, not just. So I don't care about the children. Fuck oh. the children. I'm talking about just being with a person oh. sexually. Okay. For me right now, except for my girl, honestly, is is, is awesome. But like before, I was with my girl. It was getting weird to me. Like it was like I couldn't do it really sober because I'm thinking too hard about the kids, about how your relationship, just, just about sex, just about sex in general. Oh, they're talking about sex with, with children around. No, that's weird. I don't. That's what I thought we were talking about. Oh, okay. No, you're I'm just, saying like sex in general. Just in general. In general, yeah. Is that you think it goes back to your abortion trauma? Nah, I don't even think that's a trauma. Okay, what do you think that's about though? Then like being. I think this, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, you know, everybody just has a different way of getting into it. So you were know? you just watching porn for a long time to deal? Nah. You, what about you? Couldn't. Even... I was forcing myself to watch porn. No, to fuck. Like to go out there and really like try to fuck. People are like. You're holding a gun to your own head. Kind of. It was weird for a little while there. It was That's really weird. Neurotic and dangerous, but really interesting. Yeah, I, I just like. It's not that I wasn't horny. It's not that I wasn't into it. Maybe you are gay. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. Okay. Um. Have you tried? I no, I never tried, but like I thought about it a lot. You got some close battle. I really buddies. thought about it. Hmm? Did you have any cute battle buddies? 
Nah. Nah, you don't see them like that. That's weird. I wouldn't do that to my battle buddy. Because hmm. they, they have your back at all times. Well, you could have I mean, they already back. got your back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you, you walked into that. I did, I did. As soon as he I said that. into that. <laughs> right backwards, yes. You backed right into that. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's, when I got sober, it was really difficult to have sober sex for a while. Because I'd been fucked up for years, and then just, I would think about it too much, you know? I get self-conscious. I think it's because I do, I was drinking a lot while fucking, and then I think that's really that's what it is. That's what it is. So you're like hardwired with the two. Yeah. Like they have to go hand in hand. We totally understand that. Yeah. yeah. Like both of us have dealt with that. Yeah. We are now on the same page. Okay. Yeah, totally. That's really what it was. Like I was, I don't want to admit it because I'm drinking right now, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, there was something to that. I was drinking and fucking. Mm hmm. And then, like, when we were sober... It was hard. It was like... Everything's hard sober. Everybody goes through that. It is. Everything is... Everything. Oh, wait, I don't want to say this, and then, like, y'all, like, um, you know... It's fine. Fall off the wagon and no, shit. No, no, no. Oh, God. We're not, we're no, not falling cheese. off the wagon. Okay. We're too stubborn and full of spite to fall off the I wagon. I like that. Yeah, I got yeah. plans. Yeah. Let's go. Right. I have a lot of shit and to none do. none of them involve hangovers. No. So I, just... I think I got a year left of drinking. How okay. old are you? I'm 31. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got around a year left, and then I'm gonna do like, I'm I gotta do it in a spurt. So like, I think I'm gonna stop drinking for like a year, pick it up for like a birthday or New Year's or some shit. If and you then, can do that, do it. I yeah. wish I could. What about Coke? Oh, I've never done coke? coke. It's never been a thing for me. Good, don't never. do it. Don't never. do it. Don't do it. Wow. It's something about because I read I mean, a book. Nothing about I read a book. Cocaine today is appealing. No, with all the fentanyl, especially. But when we were doing it, <laughs> that shit was awesome. Oh, I want to hear stories, but Ooh. I read a book. I I, I think it was like uh, the catch, uh, the Catcher in the Rye. Catcher I'm, in the Rye. Maybe I'm wrong. I was reading like some adult books. I, I don't think there's kid. cocaine in Catcher in the Rye, is there? Or well, maybe down these mean streets. Yes, that would be the book. I believe. I mean, maybe Catcher he opened Rye. up a copy of Catcher in the Rye, and his teacher had forgotten about like <laughs> cocaine? that time bag in yeah. there. <laughs> Your Harlem teacher that told you you're not gonna live like forgot their cocaine. Hold on. What? Not just teacher. Oh, other faculty parents? staff, <laughs> principals, deans. Mm. Uh, uh, this goes. This is why uh, they recruit from Harlem for the morgue because everyone has seen dead people, and that's why they recruit. Is that to, true? Yeah, all the people that work in the morgue. Most like, I brought brought in because it was an emergency and they were hiring. <laughs> Everybody that really works there, they basically recruit from the projects all over the city because all those kids have seen death, and they're like, "Well, this won't bother them," and they need a fucking job. Whoa. Yep. Mm. That's dark. It's real dark. It's That's so some dark. dark shit. I could tell you all about some dark shit. We I know. can talk about the morgue all goddamn day. I, I've seen your set, motherfucker. But, uh, I remember one time I was like, I gotta walk out. Really? Know. Which joke did that I to you? I don't remember, but I was like, yeah, was it, it the just, one where it was the guy heavy for me? The one where the guy got run over by the train nine times? That's my favorite. Oh, and his story. track marks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 or how dead babies are like. That's really... a good. That's a good title for a comedy album. Track marks. Track marks. Track marks. <laughs> I was gonna call mine "Live from the Satanic Temple," but you know, <laughs> "Live from the Satanic Temple." I'm gonna do it there if I can. But anyway, cocaine. Cocaine. So uh, we were talking about cocaine tourism earlier. Yes. It's everywhere. I mean, in South America. The idea you have about cocaine. Well, your theory and the idea of doing it in the U.S., yes. which I am. You want to start a business? We yes. shouldn't talk about Fentanyl's it. Fentanyl's out, kids. <laughs> Get ready for this. Hitting you now on the main streets of New York, we have cocaine infused with all of your necessary daily vitamins. B12 organic and also vitamin A, vitamin E for your skin, a little bit of collagen for the girls. As long as I <laughs> guarantee you end the night without vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> so everything that's in those hangover pills... I think they should just like chop that up and put it in the cocaine so that you're doing designer cocaine so that you don't get the hangover. Because vegans uh, will love it. Oh, it'd be, it's like I know so many coked out vegans. Just like, like a little bit of liquid IV in there. Yeah, just chop it up. You got the, and it's, it's going to smell good mm-hmm. like it used to in the 80s. Oh, make it smell like a. We could give it different scents, you know? We could have yeah. scented rose, ro- rose scented cocaine. Sage. Cinnamon for the daring. <laughs> That'd be kind of gross, but yeah. <laughs> Vi- sage uh, cane. Lav- sage lavender cane. cocaine. Sage cane is a dope ass name. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you got that sage cane, dog? Sage cane. Dude, Lemon oh scales. God, we could all go do sage cane in haunted houses. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Let's go do yoga on cocaine in haunted houses. <laughs> we're going to purify the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so clean at the 
and and spiritually clean as well. Oh my god, uh, I did a cleanse right before we did all this. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> but no, and like there's I don't know. You can't find a website, but there's places in South America and different countries where you can go to these luxury experiences and they have like cocaine tastings, and it's the kind of cocaine that you don't feel like you got hit by a truck the day after. The kind they talk about from the eighties, back when you could do coke all night and wake up and go to your fucking job and feel great. But there were. Kind of mm. prescribing cocaine for a little while in there, the 1800s. Too. 1800s? I thought it was like yeah, you got well into uh, the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s. Um, yes, and it was in Coca Cola. No, um, no, yeah, no. Up prescribed into, like, into the 50s well, yeah, and yeah. the 60s. Uh, I'm no, the not, not the 60s. Don't think into the 60s. I want to no. say into the early 50s. That was more like well, I feel like that tapered off at the late 1930s. You might because be right. By the time the Second War rolled around, yeah, we'd had prohibition before that alcohol, and then how gonna, much cocaine can you find during an international crisis? Right. Tons. Depends. <laughs> it depends if they're using it for medicine. Tell me where the Nazi cocaine is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, they were using meth. The Nazis were using meth. Hitler oh, yeah. was getting meth injections. Well, There's it was documented. the whole like berserker yeah. idea yeah. and the whole base off of like Norse regiment that he was adopting. Mm -hmm. That's like, I'm gonna take this west skin. I'm gonna make it all evil. Eh, so this I'm is why I have berserkers. This is German berserkers. The Nazis, the OG Nazis, were hot though because they were like on meth. They weren't fat. They were wearing Hugo they had Boss those chiseled jaws because they were clenching their teeth all day. Yeah, they looked great. Yeah, terrible people. <laughs> I can't do any terrible people. Terrible. Well, not according <laughs> to Kanye. Uh, oh Kanye, uh, what happened? I, I, I hate that I just brought him up. Honestly, I hate that I brought anyway, him up. Anyway, I'm a hack. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I mean, it's just hype for his next album or whatever he's going to do. He and should blah, just go blah, to Northern blah, Idaho, blah. Northern Idaho, where the militias are, and do some murders, do some fucking concerts. Yeah, I've been recruited to a militia twice. Oh yeah. Oh, what, like a prepper militia? Yeah. Oh, We're like that's up so fun. It was mad. Yes. Yeah. So Upstate fun. and in Virginia, and I was like, "Yo, suck." First of all, they're all a bunch of dudes who didn't get no pussy or share the same... So it's a, it's a group of incels. They pass around like the same girl the in same, a lot of that, was, that wife loved all the dick she got. Mm. You know Good what I'm for saying? her. So maybe there's some women's liberation underneath like secretly so, with these militias. <laughs> and none of them, none of them went to basic training or they got past basic training. And then they went AWOL? They went AWOL, I tried to kill it. themselves. I know a few dudes that were like, like uh, I have to like, you know, blocked them on Facebook because they were like they they were in basic training with me, and then they got kicked out for whatever reason, or or they left because they were trying to kill themselves, and then like rap it hard and start a militia in their mm -hmm. fucking city or join the militia in their cunt, um, uh, not their country, their fucking state in their cunt. In their, in, their cunt, cunt. in their in their man pussy. Yeah, in their man buns. Was there any particular uh, ideology that they, they were? Was there a particular apocalypse that they were preparing for? The ones that were trying to recruit you. Yeah, I don't. I what don't apocalypse remember. scenario were you? Because there's for? so many good ones. <laughs> were they, I really, I really don't remember. Garden variety Christian. I don't. What the, What is that? Oh, it's just the, the apocalypse is coming. Jesus <laughs> is coming back. The rapture. Yeah, blah blah blah. Fucking boring. Hundred year war on earth. Yeah. Honestly. I, I feel like this is real, but not real. It has something to. Do. I don't want to say shit, some shit is not real. I it's, feel like it does have something to do with like um. Believe everything. We're and we're, nothing. we're atheists here. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. 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 Oh yeah. really? Why? Big. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you an atheist? There is dude? no god. You don't think there's a god? <laughs> Absolutely no god. not. I believe there's a god. No. <laughs> I believe there's a God. I believe that I you believe. I believe that you yes, believe it. Yes, and that yes. is how peace works. Oh, I, I, don't, I believe that you believe. I don't care that you don't believe. And that's all you. I could yeah. care less you know what believe. I mean? Right. I, could care I less think you the believe. existence right. of childhood cancer is enough to say there is no God. Right. I think you got a sense of humor. I think all the dead children I saw in the morgue that were beaten <laughs> to death and I took their brains out and they looked like they were sleeping dolls, I don't think that they deserved any of that. And mm -hmm. so I don't believe that a good God would allow that. Also, there I think have, it's arrogant to think that there is something out in the universe that cares. Gives a fuck. Also, there are numerous religions prior to Christianity that have very similar stories and beliefs, and this is often carried down by oral traditions. Yeah. And the idea of a God is something that we find comforting, and people, some people need that. And you know, that's I, okay. I don't that's believe okay. I don't believe in God in the way the people Christians believe. Do. It. Yeah, I okay. believe in. I think God is just a guy. You think it's it's a male? Whatever, whatever is a being. It's a being. <laughs> no judgment. We're forming. You know, you okay. paint us a picture uh, of I, your lord. I think is a dude is doing a job. 
So there's bureaucracy and, in yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, afterlife? Yeah, yeah. You think I, there's I, paperwork? I don't know if there's an afterlife. I don't know if that, that's how it works. Uh-huh. But you think, okay, so. I think it's this... a guy, he's like, this is, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, no. uh, the upstairs are like, I got to get rid of 8 million people. Haiti, another earthquake. Like, that's oh, what so I believe is happening. Oh, so you think there's budget cuts happening, and sometimes mm-hmm. that's why. We got to lay off why some would, of humanity. Why would, why would God create the devil? Why would he do he that? He didn't create the devil. No, no, but why, just... why then? Why wouldn't he just stop him if he's all all powerful? Why did he just be like fuck you, smite it? Because that's that's fake. Because he also that's not real. works oh, there's, there's in the rules. bureaucracy. I think there's, so who made the rules that think... God abides by? I don't know. Right? Does he have a God? Is he I just... think so. So God? I is, think so. He's just a fucking blue collar worker, and yes. he has a God. Yes, he's the God of this earth oh or whatever. My God. Yes, that's that's just that what maybe like that's what Mormons think. Really? They might be right. They think that you get your own planet when you die, and you get to be the God of your own planet. I don't believe in that. Okay. I think if you if you're smart enough or like if you go if you go it, whatever the mm-hmm. what, if there's something after this, you know it'll be like again we're taking tests like we're whatever that is it never stops. I think does your God have to adhere to normal office attire in his cubicle? Yeah, what's or the dress code in cargo God? shorts? I don't does know. your God have cargo shorts? I think yeah. so. I think my God He's has stuck in the nineties. I might be able to get behind that. <laughs> I think he has does he have a wallet too. chain? Not a wallet. Is he like, uh, come on? Is your, is your God Fred Durst? <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. He has a Velcro wallet for sure. Yeah. Oh, God has a Velcro wallet. I, I, that's listen, a folk I got, song I got a, for you. I got a, a folk I got a song. 40, God has a Velcro wallet. Yeah. I'm disgusted. I, no, I just think like, I don't. I don't think religion and God and spirituality is what we think it is. All right. You think that those are all created by people in order to explain things, mm-hmm. and it's much more complicated than that. It's, I think it's way more. We can agree on it that. Sounds like uh, Kev's ideal is like a step up from simulation theory. Yeah, yeah he's like, like the, the guy simu- playing the video game. Yeah, like yeah. A, like God made the simulation, or he's running the simulation. Maybe this, but it's not the only. Simulation. Maybe God is an alien. Yes, it, it, God to me doesn't have to be a guy that like tells you. You're a bad person. You're a good person. It's an alien in cargo shorts. He doesn't shorts. care. He has cargo shorts. Yeah. Dude, he has cargo shorts. <laughs> he has shorts, everything he and needs. He has to kill on a bunch of. Person. He has to kill a bunch of Haitians. Like there's things that he has to do, but that's just what he has to do. But shit is broken. Yeah. I better just castrate some females over here, yeah. and then we're gonna give Kanye another album. We're gonna and bury, then... bury this child alive over here. Do they here. need a war? Let me just let me see. America needs right some defense there. funding. Let's just give them a war so that America can make more money. Oh my God! I don't. It has nothing to do with America. So is I'm just, I, fu- I'm just fucking around about I the know. CIA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you know about uh, you know uh, a diary of an economic hitman, you'll get that. If not, sorry. Um, I think you're right. It is super complex, actually, and I think uh, that consciousness is a byproduct of evolution, and it's part of our, uh, you know, it makes us want to survive more, but I also think that there's something to dreams. I think when we dream, we go back to a place that we've all been before Mm. in in a certain way, and I do believe in residual energy, so by that logic, I do think that there is something, our consciousness does go somewhere, but I don't believe that there's one energy source or entity that's controlling everything. I think that it's uh, more chaotic. It's way more chaotic. Just like uh, when you're a little kid, you think adults know shit. Mm -mm. You really, well, I thought that. I did too, but they don't. But they don't. (laughs) We don't know shit. Yeah, so now we're adults and we know that Oh, just don't know shit. And then we're gonna go. We die. We go to God. Like, what up? He goes, y'all be trying to figure shit out. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Right. We're gonna fi- whatever heaven or, or whatever fucking afterlife drugs. He's on it. Like, DMT. he's on the app. Ap- yes, he's you, doing DMT you got, snorts. Do it, please. Do DMT. Oh, I, I. I'm getting. Did some you bring soon. any? I'm getting some. Okay, we're gonna do it. My Is buddy. that gonna be an episode, Frank? Can you just lock us in here and we'll do DMT? <laughs> it'll, it'll just just a whole episode of DMT. Someone give me a DMT pen. And it was trash to me. Yeah, that's not real. That's not real? You need to get the stuff I that's powdered. I knew it wasn't real. I knew it wasn't. I was like, man, this feels like I'm on shrooms. Just call me about drugs. Not to get them, but to, uh, I like, know. questions. I'm going to question people yeah. now. Because people be if giving me shit. If you need information on drugs, <laughs> contact Lauren Petrie at and the Lauren Petrie. <laughs> or alienmurdersex at gmail.com. <laughs> or Twitter <laughs> at murder underscore alien. We, we're he- heathen fucking degenerate ex-drug addicts. And I've done all the drugs that used to just be pushed in my face because people wanted in my pussy. But instead, I just talked about aliens for fucking five hours. Right. And they got upset and then you get dry mouth facts well, yeah. so, say the name of this podcast one more time alien murder sex you don't even know where you are right now AMS. that's a good one let me ams can yeah. i see this bottle that you're drinking real quick yeah, of course what are you on 
I wanted a few things right now. Oh, oh okay. That's great. Product of Italy, this Pinot Gris. You would like cocaine. You would love cocaine. Mm-hmm. If you're a white a, wine Some drinker. girl put um, cocaine around my mouth. It's not the same thing. Not the same thing? It's not the same. You just got numb. It doesn't. I you... did get numb, but can I tell you something? I felt like I swallowed a little bit of it. Tastes like trash. Tastes trash. Yep. But like that spray. means it was good. That was the horniest I've been. Oh, he could keep it up on coke. You need to do cocaine for the nah. good of humanity. <laughs> you need to do cocaine for the women no, in no. your life. Can it I would be it? like dick and fish in a barrel. You literally <laughs> just need to like. Can I give advice about. A certain vodka that I think has the, like properties that make your dick hard. Yeah, tell our listeners. Zvetka vodka. Zvetka, yeah, Zvetka. Yeah. We know Zvetka. Oh, you need hard penis in cold winter. <laughs> you need to get Zvetka vodka. It is good. very good. You'll be able to fuck a bear for <laughs> all night. <laughs> be good for propagation of Russian fucking citizens. <laughs> <laughs> we we will make strong children, strong like Rasputin. <laughs> Try to kill Kent. <laughs> yeah, Zvetka. Zvetka. We will smite the Ukraine. Yeah. Dude, that good? Sorry. Svet- <laughs> Yo. What? There were some Russians at a show I did the other night, and uh, they were in the corner, and everyone just kind of like avoided calling them out. And I got on. I was like, hi, Russia. And I just looked at them. I was like, you need to stop. You need to stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And I should have said, drop it. Drop it. Drop, drop it. it. Drop it. <laughs> you should have. Actually, drop Is that Ukraine? <laughs> drop it. You let drop go. It. You know you're not supposed to have that. You're being naughty. You wait till right your dad gets home. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till Putin dies. You're going to be in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a cone on you if you think you're going to keep going to other countries. <laughs> Jesus. We, we, you have enough war at home. You stop. <laughs> the war we have at home. <laughs> you eat the war we have at home. <laughs> Daddy for... took the war we had at home. <laughs> you have enough war. <laughs> Just... We haven't even talked about any true crime, and I'm kind of okay with that. Um, let's do like well, one. I'd be derailing podcasts like a motherfucker. Well, we love it. I'd be really derailing. We'll, we'll shit. have you back. Yo, I want to know about, about Watts. The Chris dude, Watts? Chris Watts. Oh, okay, so, you saw my bit about that, right? Okay, I, we will do an entire show dedicated to him at some point. We will have you on for that. I will love that Because that, that is a deep dive. He is one of our all-star family annihilators. Hey, bah, 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 bah. The, the other big family annihilator is Robert Fisher, who I concede actually had a more art- artistic touch to his family annihilation. He did it better than Chris Watts. And we can talk about who did his family better on that episode. Uh, Robert Fisher pulled the gas line out from under the house. I mean, really incredible forethought. Was that Florida? No, that wasn't Florida, right? No, that was like in the Midwest. What he do, he just laughed like, I'm going to get a beer. He fucking made, he planned this thing for months and he shot them all in the head and then he pulled the gas line so they were harder to identify and then he fucking left the country. He's still not been found. Wait, he didn't kill somebody else in his place? No, he killed the entire family. Yeah, but he didn't kill like an extra, like an uncle he didn't like. No, he killed his whole his wife and his kids just I like understand. Chris Watts. I understand, but I'm saying he didn't have the full. He didn't place a body, a body of himself. Uh, yeah, no, he did in a car, like up in the woods. Who was he? Oh, I, I don't remember. We'll do a deep dive. Dude, so tune in for that, everybody. Yeah, I, I'm down. For We're that. gonna but, annihilate families here on AMS. <laughs> a- like, AMS, 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 AMS. Do, 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 do. Like I used to annihilate dick. Um, so Chris Watts, man. Well, I mean, just like fucking got all. I don't know. That was stupid. That was my hack moment. Um, like. What Chris Watts did was fucked up, though, just because he showed no, like, malice towards them. He Until was, like, he was in court. He was just Until a yes he man. He was just like, yes, honey, you know, and she was always filming everything. Maybe she deserved to die, because that's fucking I annoying. Know, I was watching. Super annoying. I remember watching it. I was like, that is I would is, fucking kill her, too. This just mad quiet. Right? <laughs> Some people just, like, you're just like, fuck, man. Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah I would. Yeah. I mean, I, not the kids, but I would. Not I, the children. The children I, got nothing to do with it. I would have just faked a heart attack, just inject air into her bloodstream and say she had a this heart attack. This is why you can't. But they're going to find the puncture mark. Not if you put the body face down in the blood pools over the puncture mark. and then. The, oh, because then it's going to coagulate in and there then, a little bit and kind of give it that little and if it's a busy, for freshness. And if it's a busy day at the morgue, the Emmy might not catch that. Probably won't catch it. There was a... Uh, there was a death at the morgue that I, wor- I didn't work on. It was adjacent to a table I was working on, and it was a Russian diplomat <laughs> with a r- fucking belt around their neck. They said it was a suicide, and I'm looking at that going, nah. her makeup was perfect. That was not a fucking suicide. If it was a suicide and she used the belt, no, you'd have tear streak. Yeah, it was, it was like, or she was Croatian. It was one of those, uh, you know, nations. Eastern European. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as in uh, Hunter Biden murdered a Russian prostitute. 
Oh, really? Who's got time to do that? Does he actually have time to do that? Crack actually is uh, his drugs that good. You can get a lot done on meth and crack, let me tell you. He's doing some good meth. Mm, He's he's not doing doing bad meth. meth. I like him. I mean, I would love to do crack with prostitutes as well. I think that's a good way to spend your time. Absolutely. If you're making, what what was he making? What, $10 million a year? doing? How could you not? Plus, he's supporting sex workers. He's giving back. Like... Support. He's supporting small families with his drug habits. Yeah, so that's actually better than most drug addicts. He should be a fucking hero, God, for Facts. feminism. Do you think he was a cuck? No. You don't Why? think he was a cuck? Well, who cares? But but like, what I mean by cuck, I mean like a... Uh, a simp? Like a simp. For prostitutes? Not for... Pro- like, uh, like he had like a dom who was like, yo... Oh, like oh a, a yeah. sub. He was lose, a sub. He was a sub, right? Yeah. Like, lose your laptop. Oh, I hope so. You know what I mean? Like, he, I, I, he, he looks like he needs to be spanked. Mm-hmm. He's very spankable. Mm. I want you. I want you to record everything you do. Yeah, smoke that crack, daddy. Smoke that crack. You smoke that, hard, smoke you that, fuck crack. that prostitute while you smoke that crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter Biden, a fucking shining symbol of feminism. America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a true American hero. All right, what y'all got here? Because I know oh, let's got watch some, some porn. Oh, okay, porn. No we're going true crime. To the porn? Wait, wait. We well, we got one. 15 minutes, so let's. We could do one true crime. Oh, we could do one true crime. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, Frank, we... do you want to pull up? Do you remember the article on the, the woman? I sent who... him the beheading. Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, no, let's do the beheading. Okay. Yeah, we beheading? haven't decapitated anybody in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Imagine you're 21 years old. 21. 21. And you've 21. You've met 21. the most amazing man or woman. Sorry, I forget. Man or woman. You're so pretty, I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's, she was also initially identified as just a Latino woman. <laughs> well, it's hard to identify somebody without their head, okay? That's true. <laughs> well, if you have fingerprints, you can do it. Wait, it was a dude or a girl? I'm confused. So this is All the right. couple. Who died? She died. She died? He, he, she he died. Be- he beheaded her. I Maybe he was trying to do like Saudi Arabian chic. Can Maybe I, that was his thing. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Is she Mexican? Um, let's see. And An- Angie Diaz. I'm not sure what kind Diaz. of Hispanic she is. Diaz. She might be Colombian. It was in Texas, so maybe Texas. she is Mexican. She might be Mexican. D- yeah. Does she need her? Does she need her papers? I mean, I don't know. If I that's... think there was talk in the article about. I don't think there was talk of her needing her papers necessarily. Um, hey, let me tell you something. Some of these dudes got all the right to behead a bitch. Because <laughs> look, I'm not. Be- no, be- they, some they, bitches they, deserve to be beheaded. They're just yeah. green. They're just after but, the green card. The, the women and then they're like fucking and, and then they fucking her, his brother or his friend and they're like honestly your dick is mad little you think I loved you I just wanted this green card yeah. motherfucker that's mostly Russian women though so right he did Latinas refer to be, her Lat- as his trophy though and she was Nicaraguan trophy what and as her trophy his trophy trophy wife okay respect. so this was a possession problem and think, she was from Nicaragua, ooh. so it may have actually been a green card. And Nicaraguans, situation. Nicaraguans are like they're like um, they're punk rock with it. Like they don't, they just go. They for don't it. like authority. Ah. They don't like shit like that, bro. Like that's why they fight for what's going on right now in their country. Good, much respect to so, a country that fights. What the sh- happened? Yeah, uh, was... sheriff said she's a Nicaraguan citizen. Yeah. So I'm not sure if she got American citizenship as well, but she was definitely from Nicaragua. Yeah. Listen, yes. a lot of these so, motherfuckers deserve to die. <laughs> I'm not sure that uh, she necessarily did. I know, I, I mean, know what you're saying. I if, feel like you got to be married for longer than four months to deserve to be decapitated. I'm letting you know right now. That's exactly what happened. I'm let four months. Four months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was getting her papers, and she was trying to bounce. Mm-hmm. And Maybe. he pulled the possession mm-hmm. card. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Texas, four months, Nicaraguan, no yeah. papers. Come on, beheaded, creepy ginger dude. So don't don't marry a ginger. Never. Ugh. Dad, are you listening? Why did you do that? Um, don't marry. I bet you she got some insane. cheeks. Some ba- ba- butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. He oh, like they love. should have just been able to identify got, her oh, body by her she got thick thighs. Oh, she got thick thighs. Oh, she thick. Oh, she did. She thick on that. Uh, 21. Could you do something for me? But it was like his parents bad, that bad, went bad, and bad, called bad. the cops, though. So there was no like. Because his parents was like, yo. I, I, She's kind of a butterface. Yeah, she is. I mean, she doesn't have great skin, but she kind of cute. She got them cheeks. But she needs to go Can I say something? Can I say something? Yeah. What? This bottle of wine in, <laughs> she fine to she me. She fine. <laughs> Not in that picture, but the rest of the pictures right. you showed me. She's I, she a little hottie with a body. 
She had and a And not a head. And she, not a head. So it's okay that she has a butter face. He dealt with it. Do you think he fucked the body without the head just as I a final totally fuck I totally think you? he did. I would love to know that. I would love to see the autopsy report and know if they found like van- oh vaginal penetration, oh penetration oh afterwards. Hey, when you do an autopsy, when you do an autopsy mm-hmm. it's the only time you, your you, raped kit will ever get tested. Oh, yeah. Really? They use, when you're dead. So they use the rape kits in New York on the fingernails, you know, when someone fights back. Yeah, for, okay. So we, supposedly we have a shortage of rape kits, but there's a stack of them the in the autopsy suite. Say? Supposedly we have a shortage of rape kits. How is that possible? And But there is a stack of them. Not oh. for real. I'm dead serious. How is that possible? Uh, you ask the fucking government. Ask the government. How also, hard is it to make a rape kit? Also, a the rape, rape, kit. rape kits don't get tested. They don't Did get you know tested. That? What does that even mean? That means that when you get raped, they're supposed to test the rape kit to find the DNA so they can look for a DNA match so they can catch the person that raped you. Well, the Why d- would they not get tested? You tell us. You want to get into some feminism bullshit? This is tell a real thing. Tell me why uh, I have to die for my rape kit to get tested. So pretty much uh, uh, you, they uh, test them on the dead bodies all day long. And also they, they waste them and they use them to get the... Well, I mean, it should be used for vaginal swabs and just rape cases, but they use them on murder cases and things that had nothing to do with rape and on men, on the fingernails and the hands to get DNA. So, like, apparently there's a shortage of rape kits, but they're using them on men all the time. I'm the confused morgue. as fuck right now. You're saying right now to me, mm-hmm. they don't use these rape kits to find rapists? Uh, they, <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Though they do, but they also use them on other things while there's a shortage to... And it is more likely that your rape... Uh, yes, yes, that as a body in the morgue, your rape kit will get tested. So what was your question concerning... The more uh, uh, before I just like cut you off with like just so you know and oh they sent me a cease and desist but I never signed an NDA and they just don't like me telling the world about the shit that they goes you a on. Cease and desist? Yeah, about the jokes that they don't like that Yo, I'm telling. You mad pussy. <laughs> you pussy out here, dog. The OCME is. Why do I even care? Why, I don't, why I don't work even, there. Not you guys. I'm I don't, talking about them. No, I don't work there anymore because because there's people to protect because the high image. Image because I went on John Marco Cerezzi's podcast and talked about how I saw people stealing money from dead bodies and they really didn't like that. And what now, do you mean steal money? How could you steal money from a dead go pick body? The, go pick the body up in the house. That money's cool. That's, they got they got money in their could, pocket. That's not their money. They're dead. That's how the morgue techs look at it. I believe that a hundred percent. You are a true New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. I was born and raised in this so motherfucker. So the FBI, because people were stealing credit cards and using them. That's money. different. That's why the FBI but got But also, involved. no harm, no foul. So, <laughs> <laughs> right? No harm, no foul. Who credit is this hurting, really? I mean, right? they're dead. They're I mean, dead. I, Who, they don't give a fuck about credit. Credit don't even really exist. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, but how much would it fucking suck Like, if you were the kid that like then had to pay off that debt? Why you have such a fucking fragile parent? (laughs) (laughs) You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. (laughs) Rob these dead people. You're not wrong. Don't die around me. I'm thinking that shit right away, dog. There is a job for you at the Manhattan morgue. They (laughs) y'all should just job swap. Yeah, I will. will, Like, Uh, yeah, I'll take that shit, bro. I'll hook you up. That sounds like I'm about to be a minute in a few short years, (laughs) dog. I'll rob a few motherfuckers for that, bro. There are bodies. Ooh, this one hitting. We would go to like Park Avenue, you know, the up, Upper West Side. Oh yeah, that's the best depths to find, dog. I De- want to find them too. Decomp bodies on the Upper West Side. What does that mean? Decomp means it's been sitting there for a while. Decomposing. Deco- decomposing. And then the cops, I've said this before, were pussies and they wouldn't go in because the smell, right? That's terrible. So we'd all be in there by ourselves, and I'd be tagging the body, and, and my coworker would be going through the shit. Of course, right? Of course. Uh, yo, this makes so. First of all, pay your guy, pay your people more. Oh yes, pay them more. Don't because that's why they're robbing. Them. Treat them better, right? If you paid everybody in the uh, in in your in position, was, yeah, my line of work previously, yeah. Uh, can you can you be honest about yeah. how much it is? So I made twenty bucks an hour. Too little. Doing full, carrying three hundred pound motherfuckers too down little. down walk ups in the Bronx, doing autopsies on. Fucking, you know what that job is worth to me? Oh, like forty bucks an hour. I'm what? gonna give you a, a yearly like hundred k okay. a year. Ninety-five thousand. The the city would never pay that to the lowest people on the totem pole. Fucking lowly. You mad pussy. Thank you. you. Clean up the dead. You mad you pussy go for that. Wipe I, the I, filth from the city. If you're gonna pay somebody twenty dollars an hour for the amount of money these people in office are making, I know you gotta go do that shit. No shit. That should be your volunteer work. There. 
Yeah. You're the morgue people now. Right. No, I agree. There was there's another building with the OCME that's big and fancy down the road from the actual morgue. They have a whole facility where they could put the morgue in that nice building, but they refuse to so because they don't like the smell. So I they, don't blame them for that. They put the regular morgue up the street in this dilapidated building that they're renting from NYU that's falling apart, that's disgusting. Yeah. That's so New York that even our morgue is a rental. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I would go even higher than Kev. I would say 200 grand a year for me. 200 200K a year? Yeah. Yo, New yeah, York for, carrying bodies. for hearing the shit I've heard out of Lauren, yeah, two hundred. I don't, I, I don't know all the stories, but I'm gonna let you know right now, ninety five got to be the base pay, plus wow. two weeks paid vacation. I'll tell you this: two benefits. weeks, two weeks, two weeks paid, two and a half months. Oh, we're going, nice. we're, we're Everybody going. gets maternity leave. Oh. Everyone, no, okay, not two and a half months. Oh. Everybody just gets paternity. I, leave. I like what you're saying. Like, no, 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 no. I take it back because I'm a capitalist at the end of the day. So a month and a half. Capitalism. Okay, that's fair. Month and a half. I grew up in the hood. I believe in capitalism. I'm so bad at it, and I'm a business owner. It's like you have Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Is that <Ooh>. Stockholm? <laughs> yes, maybe you're right. You're hundred. You might be right. You might be right. I'm gonna put you onto a podcast called Upstream. Okay, it I'm might, down. It might change some of your ideas. No, it won't. Well, it might give you it, an idea. It might. It just, won't. I believe in the power no, of the dollar. I believe in the power. I want to make the money. I understand. We all do because here's. But it's not going to change your. Let me explain. Go ahead. You're still going to have the same ideals. Okay. But the reason you believe in the power of the dollar is because in our society, the power of the dollar allows you freedom. You are yes. after the end product of getting the money. Everything you're saying is correct. Which is the freedom. Yes. Right. So the whole idea is that we should all equally be able to have that level of freedom. Did you just freedom. blow the bottle? No, I didn't. We should all equally be able to Did have give that. give a little kiss? What that, just happened there? That hey, level of freedom. Hey. Hey, <laughs> give a little kiss on the head. Hey, this is why the gays want to recruit. It is in his face now. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you kiss that bottle while we talk about so everything. <laughs> that level of freedom that you want—that's why you want to make the money. Of course, is we shouldn't have to uh, hurt each other and sacrifice and have such a huge wealth disparity in order for people but to have the, that the, freedom. Then this world won't be fun. No, no, there's okay with competition to an extent. But it's gotten to the point where it's out of control and there are I'm people... I'm trying to be funny here. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just talking shit. I believe in everything you're There's saying. There's people dying on the street because... Yeah, I believe in everything you're saying. Yeah. That's all. But also... You like, you want to... Yeah, I've heard But he wants to fun. buy more butt plug necklaces. Mm. Oh, yeah. Your I, butt plug necklace. First of all, I, okay. I, I didn't buy this. It was gifted. It was gifted. Now, did she put it around your neck or did she just shove it up there? Did she lube it first? No, she said, Daddy, when you come back home tonight... Boop, <laughs> and you then know, you're gonna put on the lipstick put the that's lipstick inside on? of it. So let's let's show this to our YouTube listeners. Watchers. So this is Louis Vuitton. Okay. It's is it I really? want a butt plug by Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I want a Gucci one. That's nice. So she hasn't even she used like, it. She doesn't even. Can I see it? Yeah. Has it been in your ass? No. Has it been in hers? Yes. You won't put it on. I I want to put it on. I mean, but it's so pretty. Is that? So, is that? Let me see what Louis Vuitton looks like. It's got a little shimmer to it. Please don't, because you might want to use it. Please don't do anything weird. Okay. This is Louis Vuitton lipstick. Louis Vuitton. It, it does have a shimmer. It reminds me of, yeah, a Yes Saint Laurent uh, lipstick, but it also mm -hmm. could just be like a lip smackers one from the drugstore. <laughs> like, you can just like <laughs> pop a new one in there. I don't like know. she could preserve that lipstick forever. Forever and, and sell pop it, it out, sell freeze it. it. Yeah. Pop it off. Just... But it's a little sharp at the end to put in your ass. Well, you're though? not putting... Well, this? Yeah. It is sharp. Actually, it's really Oh, other sharp. side. I see. Oh, this, it's a coupaton. It's a coupaton and it's a an ass plug. It's a coupaton. This is a coupaton. Oh. So, baby, you know what you do with this? You, you can break a window out with this. Mom. And you can, like... You can then get somebody in the temple with this. Put that... Give yourself an orgasm afterwards. I, yeah, you know what? Yo. Kill someone and I then come. I see what you mm. did there, cosmetics. I want this. I want this now. I want this at giveyourhairakiss.com where you can find also uh, other exclusive deals on uh, beauty products. In any case, also check out my YouTube, Give Your Hair a Kiss. In any case, I want this. Shout out Louis Vuitton for being pro-feminism. Yeah, and, and pro- Vuitton. I'm going to say Louis Vuitton is pro-murder and pro-coming uh, from your ass. They're going to love that. They're going to love that promo. Look at this whore red. I love it. It's great. I love whore red. I'm wearing love, whore red right now. I really love that shit. I haven't worn whore red in so long. It's good. 
Let's watch some horrors. <gasps> You are so good Daddy with the segues. Daddy Frank, can You're I have some porn, please? You're so good with the segues tonight. Oh my God. You're <laughs> killing Hit me with the dick. The I know. Why Why don't you do stand up, huh? Me? Yeah, you. Why? So she, it could kill her funny? No, she's That's totally what stand up does. Excuse me. I did three minutes in the New York Comedy Festival. Oh, did you? Oh, you're amazing. And by, I did a haircut. Did you? No, you didn't. While I was on yes, stage. Yes, yeah. she did. Hilarious. Right she across did. the street, Club That's Coming. That's awesome. At oh, the, uh, come for the me. Michael Bevan show, which you should totally check out if you find yourself on the Lower East Side. <laughs> come to my show. It's the fourth Thursday of every month at the Tiny Cupboard at 7 p.m. The Tromedy Hour. Tromedy. Which is a safe space for dark comedy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a mm. show you want to plug? Dope Up and Dying. Oh, sorry. Dope Up Podcast. The Dope S- Up Podcast. Sunday morning smoke show. I got my, uh, my boys and I running a club. Yes, uh, you started a fucking club. I didn't I'm start. sorry, a what? My boys did. What kind of club? W- In Greenpoint, a comedy club. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Doped up comedy club. Doped oh, so what you're club. saying is I need to, you're just going to put me on. I'll put you up. I also, put, just hit me up. Put me up more, man. I've only put done you. it once and it was kind of an off night. Can I bring it's my band? Be, but it's a great room. Can I do a set and play a Oh, she has a, she has a band called pun, uh, Bedpan Fight. Bedpan Fight, which you can catch February 4th at Actually, I wanna, in Astoria. I, I want to talk to you about something different. She saws guitars in half on stage. Not with Bedpan Fight, but when I do the Wendy O tribute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could start doing it with Bedpan Fight. You, Maybe I should start chainsawing a Bedpan. Should it be yes, full? Yes, yes. Should it be metal? <laughs> should we just do sparks? Yes. Brutal. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's actually like the most metal thing you could do. Um, what do you want to talk to her about? Is it a secret? Is it music? It's not a, it, it, Is it porn? I, no, me and my boy DC are uh, about to run a show called Mongo and Oxtail again. Mm-hmm. And we used to do it in a horn up, but I always thought there should be a music component to it. Because mm-hmm. I, I don't like shows where it's like, if you're doing a, uh, basically what we do, Lauren, is we do time on stage and it's a showcase. And then people just do comedy. Just 10 comedians. I'm be real with you. That shit boring as fuck. What about some funny Candy. punk though? It's boring. No, it is. I think a show should be shorter. I think well, I think it should be like three comics doing more time than the 10 comics crammed in. Yeah. Also, that doesn't help comics grow because you're constantly then doing do 10 five minute minutes, sets. Or five, five to 10 minutes. Five, 10 all the time. And then you're like, which part of my 30 minutes do I want to do next? It's a fucking pain in the ass. I think everyone, we should all start doing like 20 minute sets. 20 minutes. Put a band on for like 15, let people get another drink. But yo, all right. So when I went to see Chappelle. Maybe a stripper. Yeah. I walked I into. Uh, <laughs> that'd be hot. I am a one woman show. <laughs> <laughs> she is. It's it's true. I love her. It's why I want No, no, yeah. no. First of all, she's fucking awesome. You're fucking awesome. Yeah. You love me? I love you. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> you no. want to use that lipstick later? Later. I'm, I'm her simp. Are you? That's why I brought her on this. Sh- I made her my co host. She makes you do whatever you say. I no, mean, I mean she makes you say whatever. I you just, say. I just love and support her forever. She's like a deity. I love you. I love you too. This is the only thing I hate about women. What? The love thing. that we worship each other. Yeah, I what? hate that. That shit we can just women. sit here oh, and be you, like, have you ever, "Oh my god, I totally want to make out with you. You look so good today. Oh my god, that's amazing." But like, goes, bros can't do that. It goes the other way. Have you been in the back room of a fucking strip club and watched the caddy bullshit? I don't. I can't hang out at strip clubs. I'm just saying, like, women can be terrible to each other. That's the only time it's fun for me. Oh, fuck you. I hate that shit. Yeah, that's the only time it's cool. Like, it's cool to do it, but like, I'm not in a world with cool girls like you are doing it. Oh, you're with like traditional women? Yeah, and it's kind of like, you're you're forcing her to make bad decisions. Yeah. Oh, we're past that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We we did that ourselves. We don't have to do it to each other. Yeah. So you're- It's a little different with y'all. You like to watch the devil on the shoulder, each of of the I don't like that. What do you mean? Like, you want to watch them make bad decisions? Like, what do you mean? You want to watch women fight? You want to watch them get catty? What do you want? want You like it when the- What gets you hard? What do you want? What do you want? (laughs) What gets me hard is different from this, though. Okay. So I like when girls are real with each other. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't like when they, like, this was more authentic. But, like, for the most part, a lot of girls are really fake with each other. Oh, in terms yeah, of, like, that's why we. In terms of, and then I feel like they're trying to, like, make each other worse. Yeah. But pretending it's making them better. Yeah, if you watch Real Housewives, that's, like, all they do. Mean girls? It's Me- all terrible. Oh, my God, I love that skirt. Yeah, you Vintage. look great. so good. That is the ugliest fucking thing I've, I've ever seen. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like girls in the subway, they give it, like, that Devil Wears Prada, like, up and down look. And they're like, oh, you look so cute today. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Thanks. That's that's cool. But they're doing it different now. It's like 
I love your fuck- look. It's so eccentric. Yeah, that's just so interesting. It's so interesting. And it's like, yeah. bitch, interesting is what I say to a four-year-old when I don't feel like listening to their stupid story. That's the... It's so. By bra- the way, it's so brave of you to wear that. It's so. Oh! Bra- you know what it's like to go on a cruise ship That's with like a bunch of Trumpsters. Honestly, it that- was literally. You're so brave for shaving your head. You're so brave. So brave. Really, do they call you brave? I wish like- I had that much courage. Ugh. Like, shut up, Karen. I want to say this though. I'm not talking about women past 29. You're young, dumb. I'm dummies. talking about the 28 and lower, like. The, the the girls are like for whatever reason their youth like their youthful ignorance has been confused with youthful um, exuberance. Right, boldness. Bold. It's like yo, you're dumb. Yeah, mm. and yeah. people need to tell you you're the, dumb. The reason this is happening is uh, social media and uh, YouTube and and TikTok culture because anything that just is big and exciting gets views, and it doesn't matter if it's smart or if it has any kind of like interesting content behind it. It's just about being noticed, and that is affecting the culture. It, I started dating girls outside of my culture. During the from the pandemic to now, I'm talking about all cultures, not just I DR know. culture. Yeah. No, no, I, I know you were. Yeah, I'm, but I like, and what I notice is like, when you're not in a struggle, you start inventing struggles. People that are addicted to struggle do that. That don't know anything different. I don't know if they. You think that they have any idea that it could be anything other than struggle? Because if all they've ever known is struggle. If you've only ever felt bad, you don't know what feeling good is. Yes. Ergo, it's an unattainable goal and you have to continue the comfort of feeling bad. Awful. Yeah, that's why I dated abusers for so long because my mom was an abuser my whole life. So that's what I thought love was. That, and yeah. I had to like figure out that there was She's another way. Love. She has Barely. Alzheimer's and we can't wait for her to die. <laughs> so close. Oh my God, I get money when she dies, you guys. A lot of money. Reparations! Do you for real? Yeah. You know Those for, of you who are on, still yes. in the Lauren's death, Lauren. death pool. Lauren, Lauren. No, no, I know No winners I, this week. You know the lawyer? Yes, dude, listen, I went you down. Did, you, it's handled. You, it's all it's hand, handled? It's all it's handled. handled. My man. It's all handled. My man. Let's all handled. fucking go! <laughs> so you're gonna, I like that so you, shit, you're gonna book. You're going to book me, right? <laughs> for uh, Dope Dog? <laughs> yeah. Just come through Thursdays and Sundays. I got you. Thursdays and Sundays. If I, no, if you see that I'm coming, uh huh. DM me. And okay. Like, All right, I'll put you up. Speaking of coming, <laughs> <laughs> hit me with porn. No, I am getting money. Her house sold for a bunch of money, and like she's my my cousin is POA. I'm the only beneficiary, and I said you're the only daughter. I'm the only oh beneficiary, and her uh, her late she husband. Didn't do, she didn't do any wild shit because I've heard no, stories. No, there's there's over a million dollars already. Wait, wait, hold up. Are what? you sure everything's handled? Yes. Handled. 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 Also already handled. invested into passive income, so it's still making money. Okay. Handled. Because there's some people that do some sneaky shit. Well, the, the worst thing she did- A lot did, of family members. She, lot of, she lost her 401k in a Ponzi scheme, but she had money besides that. And her late husband was an Air Force colonel, and he disinherited his children and left everything to me. And we don't even- So. Yeah. And I Oh, your mom got some good pussy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. She, she got a good pussy because like triple water sign Scorpio. When you when you, <laughs> yo okay. when you give she's up she's a Scorpio. Oh, triple triple. <laughs> yep, just like my fucking mom, and I love her and I hate my mom. Well, she didn't fucking lock me in closets and abuse me and tell me yeah, I, yeah like so it's different. I can't wait. It'll be consensual when I lock you in a closet. Fuck yeah, yeah it will. So mm. when your mom mm-hmm. marry someone outside of. What? Your dad. Right. Right? right. Her second husband. Yeah. Her second husband. Actually, her third husband. Her, yeah. third husband. her third husband. Her third husband is the colonel. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. And He's dead, right. but she got everything from him. Everything, and when she dies, then it goes How to shitty were his children? I know. They lived in Germany, and apparently they're doctors, and he felt like they were like strong arming, arming him for money his whole life, so he just disinherited them. Well, the Germans are weird. I love the Germans. They're what is so weird about the she, she she grew up in Germany. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Did I'm you? quite German. <laughs> You're quite German. She's very I'm quite German. German. You're she's, quite German. Oh, yeah. She's full Aryan. So what's well not full. I've got that <laughs> Irish mutt bitch in. Oh there fuck you. I'm Irish fuck Scottish. <laughs> and <laughs> and whatever South African white bullshit white devil bullshit that's in me. Mm. Yes. Put on some porn. Yeah, put the porn, porn on. It's porn time. Happy, happy porn time. Like Guys, I hope I wasn't too 
too well. Fucking retarded on this episode. You weren't retarded. You were really funny. I, I, I was so. retarded. I'm always like super low energy. No, you weren't. Because I'm tired from capitalism. Somebody give Let money to our friend. Patreon. If you guys, you honestly, I have mad fun here. So if you guys ever need a random guest. Yeah. We'll hit you up. How last minute can we get you? Yeah. It depends. I'm getting booked a lot more now. But can you hook me up? Because I need to get booked more. We'll, we'll talk after this. It's just mm. hard because I think I'm not like outgoing off stage. I know. While Frank pulls up the porn, remember to find us at Alien Murder Sex on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok. And Twitter at murder underscore alien. Please follow us on all the things. If you're watching this on YouTube, get over to Spotify. If you're oh. watching, listening on Spotify, get over to YouTube. And if uh, like you, review, Apple, Apple please Music, rate, review, it makes a difference. Right. Share this with all of your relatives. We could use some more hate mail. We need hate mail. I'm feeling a little safe. Yeah. So I <laughs> could use some threats. Can somebody please submit to the lips of TikTok again? I mean, we have plenty of snippets up about like dead babies, to... dead babies, we dead babies, dead babies, dead babies. We wanted to eat dead babies and we talked about how to cook them. Nobody, nobody cared. cared. What the fuck? I want to eat your baby and nobody cares. And by the way, I am Adrian M. Kess. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram <laughs> at Give Your Hair a Kiss or Give Your Hair a Kiss dot com. While you're there and happen to find yourself in the New York City area, you can book an appointment with me <laughs> at the kissing booth. Adrian! Have a great time. Adrian! Look, until I see a cock on that screen, I'm going to shamelessly plug. Come on, come on, Frank. Hey, yo, what, what was the last thing? Cuss. K K U S. A K. A K. A K. A K. And I'm L P P. L P P? Well, I have two last names, but I only use one in comedy. L P P. Oh, yeah, you okay, know what's me. going on here? We got porn. We got she, porn. Oh, this is a porn party. Can I fat We've shame? We've got a few. Yes. We can fat <laughs> shame. <laughs> Um, no, oh, that's a, oh, that's a dude. we got titty fucking a dude. Oh, wait, wait, that's a dude? I, no. I'm very curious a, what's happening in the background because a, I think this is a maker spot. No, like that's somebody a fat was woman. Doing... It's a fat woman. Well, why does she have a beard? What? She's on Women estrogen. can have beards. She's on estrogen. She's on testosterone. Wait. Excuse me. Maybe what? they are they. Oh, it's Maybe a they it's a trans? they it's a they it's a trans person. I can't. Oh, you're right. So we've got some double dick sucking from them, and then we have some foreground dick sucking, and she looks like she's having a wonderful time. I feel like her makeup doesn't really match the aesthetic, but I love the or, mask or that the was brought. Bolt, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the enthusiasm that she's sucking can, those dicks. Can with. I ask a question? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. What's he oh doing? My God. He's just hanging out. That's he's cut. Oh, little he, Anton LaVey he's back the there. <laughs> he's like. No, he's like, trying to get some anal. Sexy Anton. Oh, LaVey. I hope he gets he, some anal. He, Were you about to ask me a question? Is it about anal? Um. Oh, I you have, can spit on it. Have, it's fine. It's I cool. have mad questions about anal. What's your question about anal? Have you not anal? done anal? I've done anal, but like. With girls your current don't, girlfriend? Girls don't want, she's not going to do it with me. What? How do you know? What, she wants pregnancy risk every time she has sex? What the fuck? Anal it's, is awesome. Yeah, ladies. Ladies, do anal. What I, the fuck? Hey, Anal's hey, amazing. Adrian and Lauren, let me what? tell you something. <laughs> I don't have that kind of luck. <laughs> All my friends get girls that, like, are they're so down to do anal. I'm the only dude in the world no girl wants She's to do so, anal with. This is how you start with the anal. Yeah, you, you gotta know? lick it. This is how you start. You, you get, get her bent over. We're gonna get those panties off. You I'm, gotta have a goatee. I'm gonna say something really anti-feminist. Get her drunk and lick her asshole and see where it goes. Here's the thing. Lick her asshole. The her only asshole. girl that ever let me do anal spontaneously was an Indian chick. He's hot and he has a nice dick. Yeah. He and is very Anton LaVey. Yeah. Well, he, I'm he, liking He that. got a dick on him, yo. Yeah, I know. I like that. And that's not even hard. And he yeah, smells he her sm panties. Yeah. Oh, he a dirty boy. He's sexy. I'm going to be real oh, with you. Yeah. Oh, The girl on the left makes me want to throw up. Yeah, And me too. whatever this thing is. This thing? Uh, it has some arms. I don't know. I don't... She. It's a she. I think it's a she. Some some women oh. Whatever weights. they are. They. They. Okay. Look, this is from jerking cocks. All day. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's a, a double fister. She's got the shake weight in real life. <laughs> in right. real yeah. life. This, um, they, right? Possibly. Uh, they uh, just look uncomfortable in that uh, chair, though. Wait. Yeah. Wait, is that a chick? Uh, uh, we uh, have a vagina. Is it a vagina? It is a woman. So it's we fat, just got a bearded lady. It's a fat woman. Damn, that's a bearded, bearded lady. lady, dog. Yeah. Wow. Where so, the fuck did you find this? This porn? is some white people group sex weird. <laughs> Wait, like can I this the question. How you got like? Is this, is this on YouTube? Or what no, is this we on? we so we will put this on Vimeo. But I'm having a lot of trouble with Vimeo right now. So like, we're gonna find another. So platform. those who contribute to our Patreon watch the porn with us. Right. 
washed a point. Otherwise, you just got to sit there and, and listen, listen to us describe, describe how he's pounding her ass right now. If you right guys now. honestly, if you guys don't wash this with them, you <laughs> mad. Well, I gotta pussy. get it up. I gotta get it. The thing is, it's. I'll tell you later. Yeah, Look one. at his dangling nipple ring. I feel like he's oh, channeling is Prince. Wild. Is that no, Rob Halford? Buffalo Bill. And oh, it's so <laughs> Buffalo Bill. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I would is fuck me. Or... It's a woman. Oh, it's a woman. She is that just a lift, C-section she just, scar? She just lifts weights, dude. Oh, he had a ginger crotch. All right, here's my question. Yes. Here's my fucking question. Fucking answer. Is there ever a fucking sex party where there's actually good-looking people yeah, in? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there are. Because this is crazy. This, this woman looks people. like Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Marilyn Manson would be offended by that. Marilyn Manson is the most... No, he's he's all right. He's then nipple he rings. Got a, he though. got a double chin now, but you should have seen him in the nineties. I've seen him in the nineties. I could right. hang a chandelier off his nips. You think so? Big cock. It yeah, but it's narrow. It's like it's it's long. Ish. Marilyn Manson's? Oh no, I was talking about this guy's oh, dick okay. on the screen here. I'm like, it's pretty average. That's easy he's for got anal. No ass. That's easy for anal. None of these dudes have cake. What's cake? Oh, fat. That fat booty. Dicks. You got oh, booty? Yeah. Of oh, course he does. Look at him. I got no cheeks. You sure? I got no cheeks. I, why does this just look sterile and weird? Like they're two grays. It's aliens fucking. Are they aliens fucking? No. Is that a skin tag? Ew. I can't stop looking at the skin okay. tag. Can Yo, you next wanna know porn, something about, please. You wanna know something? That is disgusting. Yeah. So okay. new, new porn. I they're doing it raw. I realize this. Oh I, my God. He's yeah. going to make her drink the water. So he's like got a, a bowl. Oh, this guy's kind of cute. He's got a bowl and he's like drowning her. He's doing uh this is like drowning play. Uh, this guy's better than, better looking than I thought she was earlier. Yeah. Can I drown you a little bit? I mean, one day. Maybe if I do All proppers. Right. Yeah, yeah. Drown that doggy but, bowl. That's some sexy serial killer But if shit. your dick is not on her butt, what's the point of doing this? It's a power thing. Yeah, it's just it's power. A, it's a control power thing. Like some, that's why I have like a strangulation fetish. Mm. It's also trust. If she, they have talked about this beforehand. And they probably they have a contract and for she sure. Trusts him, you know. It's also like there's a safety contingency plan. Well, the color off going camera, in the, ready oh. to go. It's hot that you trust somebody enough to take you to the brink of death. Yes, that is. I guess yeah. that makes sense. That's really hot. You know. Like surviving an abortion. Your whole <laughs> life should just be pleasure going forward. Yeah. You <laughs> emerge from that vagina on phase. I love how <gasps> he's like. Maybe that's your sex thing, though. Maybe that's your hang up. Yeah. What? Something to do with, like, coming out of pussies. Or narrowly not. No. Um, do you like to do cream pies? Everybody, every dude likes every cream likes pies. Cream pies. Yeah. How quick can you find the clit? Pretty fast. Okay. Pretty fast. Yeah. What's happening now? We got a threesome going? She's getting... Um, DP'd. She's getting... No, it's not... No, that's oh, it. it's not. It's, oh, no. She's getting fucked in the ass, and eating she's out. eating the pussy from behind. She, I would love he? a threesome like this, she. but this is all she's. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, my oh! God. No, he's drowning her in the toilet. He's drowning her in the toilet. Wait, this just turned into like, some like straight punk smut right here. I, would I love not, this. I would not be okay with the So, toilet. wait. What's the point of the porn stuff? Like, what are you guys trying to find in this? Oh, this is us trying to just deal with being raped several times oh, in Jesus our lives. <laughs> so we um <laughs> casually watch porn and well, it's also I also want to show said people several times. Of course, have you ever been raped? Haven't you ever? I've been, never been. Listen, no, have no, you ever okay. been sexually listen, assaulted? I'm, I'm, yes. I just want to say that I yeah. want to put this out there. I was hot enough to be raped several times. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> and look, this is because I am. Kind that's of, that's. By the way, I want to say this. The only reason I said "oh my god" and I wipe my face like mm -hmm. that is because. I don't, if I've been raped, I don't have the ball. I don't think I will have the ball so that I was hot enough to be raped. Well, that was that's a whole it's joke. It's a coping mechanism. Yeah. Okay. It's a joke I do on stage about... That like, is why. About, do girls get mad at you when you say shit like that? They just... I mean, no one said anything to me. No one... Well, they don't got the balls. Well, then fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Wow. My, right. jo my joke is about, like, I, when I, I know not, I need to go on a Wait. diet. <gasps> we have a bottle! We have a bottle! What's going and on it here? is full of Coca-Cola! No, and it not. is going it's in there. a vagina! So oh, we are... Oh, Mentos? Was Mentos we involved? Oh, we got vagina foam! This I, is the greatest... Thing. Thank you, Frank. That was a Christmas morning. I want to oh, drink the Coca-Cola oh. out your ass! 
This is so gross. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, tap it. Oh! oh! Yo, oh look at this dude. God. Look at this bald dude. We are literally squirting Coca Cola out of an anus. So it's the same guy that was doing the drowning. He's the ringleader. He's, he's like, running the shit. He's like narrating to the camera too. He's a weirdo. You no. know what's crazy to me about hold hold on That's to okay. that thought. Um, hold on to that I, cock. <laughs> I feel like all these dudes burn crosses. Um, you think they're all like like fucking KKK oh, I, members? I, I have a. I, I just feel it. Maybe in my soul. I hope not. Or. They're part of a biker gang. Oh, yeah, probably. These guys, if they are, they're like some... The sissiest low- bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, this is They the- do church runs. Oh, oh, lick it up. We got her on the floor licking up the Coca-Cola cum concoction that has been squirted from her nether regions. Yo, you guys got to get people to answer real questions. So while I got a real stuff. question for you. You want to gag on some Coca Cola later? Not like that. <laughs> so like the reason. So the other one was better. Yeah. You want to squirt it out for me? Yep. The reason I, I like you. put a little Mentos back there mm-hmm. and see how far we can shoot it. Oh, it'll be it'll science, be sky- baby. I ate some beef tacos earlier, so it'd be a really yeah. wild ride for you. I just like watching She's a lot of porn. Time. And I feel like because I like watching a lot of porn, I think it should be destigmatized among women that it's okay to be horny for porn as women. That's like another big reason. Women like don't this. be admitted to that shit. No shit. That's why we do this. It we is, love porn. We love porn. I watch fucking gangbang cream pies all I, the time. Yo, Get I, under I, that I, mean, I started I started with gangbangs. That's my thing. Basically. I love it. That was I was six Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Frank. That was Phil. That was just I love that I found some filth for that. If only like the one person s- in the fishnet outfit had been in more of a divine getup <sighs> and they had leaned into like more of a, a pink flamingos kind of deal, like that's what it was missing for me was the little bit of narrative of like eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys asked for a new video, but the title of this one was Coke in the Ass and Head in the Toilet. That's a punk rock song. Part, you know? <laughs> Coke in the ass, <laughs> head, head in the, the toilet. toilet. Coke, Coke in the ass, <laughs> head in the toilet. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good song. I, remember, I, I I used to be embarrassed to tell girls I was into watching gangbang porn. Why? Why? Well, because then were... they want to meet your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's about cool. power. It's about power and control, and that's mm, hot. And it's right. okay to just embrace your well, sexuality. I don't I mean, want it done to me. Wa- Here's the thing. But I, I like watching to it. To the girl I'm with, I don't want that done. I mean, the first girl I was with, though, she was real cool. She was, the girl I lost my virginity to. The best. How old were you when the you best. lost your virginity? I, I know we were going to wrap this up, but now I got to ask. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, we're chilling. Are you chilling, Frank? We're chilling. We're chilling. We just had a little porn break, and now we're going to get him some I, final. I, I want to say that I was either 14 or 15, mm-hmm. but it was, it's hard to remember. I was faithful, and I was with one girl. Oh, who cares about being faithful when you're like 14? Right, you I, don't even time, know what honestly, faithful oh, is. That's cute. That's at cute. the time, it meant something to me. Right, it would have meant something to me, too. But yeah. it's I cute. wish my virginity at any point would have meant something to me. No shit. You, it never meant nothing to you? I was molested no. when I was like six. So like, That's different. You too, I'm assuming? I've been touched. Okay. I was so, touched um, by a state senator. Uh, fucking top so, that shit. You get to a point, though. I was also, what? like, living in the South and, like, doing mad drugs. And, like, that's what you do yeah, in the South. At 14, you and all made around. you didn't lose your virginity by then. And then Ooh. I, and then because I was trapped in a closet by my mom, Mommy Dearest, I only lost mm. it at 18 consensually. But it was so, like, anticlimactic, I yelled at the guy. And I was like, that is it? I waited for this? Really? And then I went and I was just a complete whore to, like, make up for it. Facts. You just have to whore it out after the first go. So, yeah. do a uh, New York, if what, like you what? know, you gotta lie as a dude okay. about like when you fucked and lost your virginity. What's because of machi- because of machismo? Yeah, bullshit. yeah, of course. But then something happened to me in the tenth grade. I was, like, I'm gonna just tell these motherfuckers the truth. Mm-hmm. No one believed me because I was saying the truth. No mm-hmm. one believed me. I was like, no, I'm a virgin, and they were like, No, nah, no, you're not. Well, that's kind of nice that they thought that you were cool enough not to be. I guess, but it it didn't. It put me in positions with with, with girls at the time where they thought I was more experienced than what I was. Ah, uh, right. So there was this one girl. I'm not gonna say her name. She expected you to do some shit. So we were on the bus, right? And she, on the way to school or home from school? Were on you on the, a field trip? You I were was, on the bang bus on that the way early. To work. MTA you were bus. on the bus on the, the MTA bus on the way to work. Okay. On Love the way it. to work. And we were taking a M one oh six to one hundred and six between second and third avenue. She she lived in, on Second Avenue. 
I had worked on 106 between in, on Second Avenue at this after school program, and she wanted me to finger her on the bus, mm -hmm. and I was like. I'm not going to do this on the bus. Right. right? It's filthy on here. Yeah. But I also <laughs> never fingered a girl before. Oh, no. So you didn't even know about the right motion to do. Of course. No, I did because of my uncle. You knew about the Your uncles told you about the come hither yes, motion. Yes, yes. Um, the first thing my uncle did when I was going into high school, he was like, I'm going to talk to you about getting pussy and fucking. Don't <laughs> listen to none of your friends. That's nice of the him. The first thing. Yeah. I like your uncle. Honestly. What a nice guy. Que yo solo bendiga. Because that motherfucker really helped me out. Mm -hmm. He was the first thing he was like, "Whatever you do, don't fuck like a like a jackrabbit." That was the first lesson he taught He's me. He's great. What a fucking! Did he write a book? He's... Release a video series? Yeah. A dictionary? Did he have pamphlets? Like he told me to stop. Sex for dummies. He should have handed out pamphlets on the subway. So he Heck. he was oh, at the time I want to say he was like 30, 35 mm -hmm. years or on it, and he was just like like really like yo, you're gonna start having sex soon because it's just a part of your world. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to go looking out like a dummy. I want when girl he goes, you gotta fuck good enough where girls talk about you. Street cred. You he wanted to make cred. sure you had street cred. Mm -hmm. So he would teach me all type of shit. Like some of it was too much and some of it was the perfect amount yeah, of Yeah, somebody really like, calm down, calm down. I don't want to know all that. Yeah, he like, was like teaching me about moves on like, nigga, I'm up to there. Yeah. Right? All right. So don't fuck too fast. Always eat pussy and eat ass. Wow, eat that, that that's everything. Those are like advanced eating ass is advanced I was level. I was that like is advanced 12, level. 13 years old. He was telling you to eat ass when you were twelve and thirteen. <laughs> I never got such good advice at twelve or thirteen. Twelve or thirteen. Oh my god. And yes. this is why I feel like girls are being big. told to eat ass and I'm being told like you gotta wear a bra. I was just told that I could get AIDS through anal by my mom, the AIDS researcher, when I was in third grade. Well she's not wrong. No, I know, but I, I didn't mean, need to know that. AIDS or do you, you didn't want need to know that. You're right. She's like, you can get AIDS more more efficiently through the anal tissue than the vaginal tissue. I was like, thank you, mom. <laughs> so <laughs> when I want AIDS, I'm gonna go get yeah, gang. When it's time to end ass. this, when it's time to end this, I'm gonna do a shit ton of heroin and a gangbang <laughs> oh with like God. HIV positive motherfuckers, I, and they're all gonna be like ex fucking felons, and I'm gonna be like, Stop I don't even want to know your name. Talking about my life. <laughs> Knock it off! I'm gonna live your former life when I find out it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do heroin again when I'm like 80. Like, no. Come on over, we'll just I've send been, the same bathtub. I've been saying that Forever. since I was a little kid. Yeah, like, do it. It's yeah, really I'm, nice. I'm gonna try it, like, not to ever touch the floor at 80, at 80, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, You know what it. I mean? Fuck ah, yeah. And just lean. Why I'm not? never gonna touch the floor do at all 80. all the shit that we've deprived ourselves of. My uncle was a great man. I believe you. He truly was, yo, because he was never pervy with me. Mm -hmm. He just was excited to share knowledge. No, no, I know he didn't touch you. He was just being, he was just mm -mm. teaching. He was yeah. teaching and he was making sure and that women you, got better orgasms. You know what he did? He's you a secret he, feminist. You know what he did for me? He said, you don't believe me? He brought girl, women, not girls, women into the conversation. Because mm -hmm. I was like around 16 or 17. So he would say, hey, you verify Hey, this. Vanessa, come on over here. What hey, you like? You one, like... Hundred percent, dude. That's awesome. That's exactly what he was doing, That's yo. So cool. Shout out Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave Uncle with Dave. sex for dummies. Yeah, he, yo, he needs a vote of. He needs a candle, like a saint candle. A hundred percent, he needs a saint candle. Make him a candle. That man's a saint, and there's a lot of bitches really disappointed that I didn't become the man they wanted to be, but they orgasm. Well, that's great. That's all that I could that's, do. That's that matters. Yeah. We can only do our. They best. hate you less because of that. The hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have I, guys that beat me and I still remember the sex so you know mm -hmm. it, it counts for something <laughs> Yo, Lord, there is sex that is so fucking good you could literally kick me down the stairs yeah, it will, and I'm coming back <laughs> yeah I actually went back yeah, you, yeah I love these wild bitches <laughs> I mean, you I, wild, huh? <laughs> yeah, we should have started this way. Like, what is that? Did you just try to stab me? Yeah. All right, guys, unzip, unzip. Let's go. Let's go. What was that? What'd you just throw at me? Yeah? How unsafe can I, I trust want to, you? To yo, make I, me feel? I felt, oh, damn. I'm so sorry, bro. I, I have more things I want to say. And okay. I, let me know when it's time. Put, all right. <laughs> Frank's like, you don't it's have to pull them. out anytime it's, soon. It's their show. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, like, <clears throat> like, like, a little, little more. Not, little, probably not, like, a full two hours. No. No. You know, yeah. No, we gotta make we Because we're the poor. <laughs> yes, that's why. Yeah. We can't be trusted. We all fucking want to get anal HIV. I remember. I, I want to get fucked tonight while my husband's still awake, so, you know. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah. He's working a shift at Vitus. Me and my baby, we about to go get a nightcap. Oh, nice. It's about to be a good time. 
I'm about to get, Yo, she get that so, dick wet. Let me tell you something. She looks so fine. Mm -hmm. Like, Can we see a picture of her? I'm not, not, not on the pop. What's her astrology? There. She's a Scorpio, but I don't know the rest of it. Of course she's a Scorpio. Yeah. yeah um, you like those Scorpios. You fucking actually. like them. I'm a Gemini. Oh, I love Geminis. You're so cute. Yeah. With and a, you're like, with good, a Leo rising talkers. or something. Oh, shit. well, you must be a special boy then. The Leo <laughs> he eats rising. ass and he has a Leo rising. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lucky Scorpio. <laughs> Leos always think they're so, like the star of the show and so special. But you. When you he gets down there. God Look, you can't even keep it straight right now. I'm so sorry. I got you sweaty. <laughs> yeah, we got you all right? fucking You're hot a little and bothered. Nervous. Like got nervous. butter fingers now. Yeah. yeah, you know what you can do with those butter fingers? You stick them in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then lick it. You gotta work your girl up. You know, you just yeah. gotta like get the thumb in there. Do real the quick. front while you, you do the like, back. You know, get her to like lube up the thumb first. You know, get her around. Ooh, do you, oh, do you ever get in the mouth? Do you like ask her? For me? Yeah. Have you ever I done like it? my butt eating. I don't like a finger in there. Have you tried? I did. And much, what about a baby carrot? Start much, smaller. Much like Andrew Schultz, he has a belief that I, and I believe it too. What? I think that shit was uh, uh, propaganda from the gays to get straight guys to do butt sex oh i don't know about that because so you just I, haven't tickled your prostate yet yeah you have a prostate there and scientifically i believe you can come yeah i don't believe it's an orgasm it is okay so like when i come from butt sex but, what's hey, the difference between coming and orgasming i can squirt you hey I can hey squirt ladies from butt sex. Hey, excuse me ladies who don't understand how to have a constant orgasm uh -huh. let me tell you from a male perspective a guy that always comes whenever he wants to come yeah, you guys squirt every time an orgasm and squirt every single time let me tell you something not the same thing. What's not the same thing? Sometimes, like, I have a buddy. You think that female... I have a buddy who, sh uh, every time he takes a shit, he comes. <laughs> I like this guy. Right? Be because of He his... doesn't orgasm. He just semen shoots out. Oh, okay. So I know what you're talking about. That happened to my husband the other night, and then we went again. So, what I'm telling you is... Just because semen comes out. Doesn't mean you orgasm. Yes. Interesting. Now, when a girl's fingers was up, that bitch get it right. They said the fucking thing is there. But it feels good. It feels like an orgasm. Was what feels better to me? I'm Maybe you're about, just not a fingers guy. Have your girlfriend like gotten into the the strap on at all? Yeah, I mean, you should try that. A vibrating a strap, on. something you're a little taper. Vibrating. Yo, she a wild one, right? She's trying to get me. <laughs> look, you just look like She's the kind of man that you look vibrating. like you're begging for a pagan right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I like the um. Vibrating strap-ons. No, I don't like vibrating. You don't know that you don't like them because she hasn't done it to you yet. Yo, don't. Is this the one? Is no. this the girl? The girl I'm with? Yeah. Is she the she's, one? To me, what? honestly, he's just gonna she listen to this. We can't answer. No, no, this no. Question. She's the one to me. Okay. She's the one to me. Yeah, she's, she's the one. Like, I don't like, want so if, blink, blink if you're okay. If you really mean so that. So if <laughs> there were anyone to peg you down and make you a Fucking dirty bitch. little pup. Um, dirty it little... would be her because of that trust. Yes. No, because I don't believe. You that... think you think you'll catch? I got the a finger. I got a finger. You'll catch it like it's a virus if she. I... If she... Come on. No, it's not about that. No, I got. A... I had a finger up there. I didn't feel shit. Okay. I, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel like I'm about to come. Uh -huh. It was just. So were you just too in your head about there was a no, foreign object was, in my ass? Girl, let me tell were you. Too sober baby, to get back. No, baby girl, I was on weed. I was on drinks. I I I, I wanted it because I'm like, yo, this, they say this is the best orgasm for a man. Mm -hmm. I was willing and, and accepting. Right. How long did you let it go on? <laughs> You're so interested. In this. Hey, hey. How long did it go on for? Minutes. Minutes? minutes. Which finger was Ten it? Ten minutes. Were they Index. about? Did she my, have long nails? Hands? Long nails. My or short baby nails? hands. She has baby hands. It's creepy. Were she, they like Lauren's hands? Baby doll. She hands. was five eleven. I have man she hands. She was five eleven. Oh, I'm four eleven. So yeah. yeah. So she had she like had longer fingers. You want to get my dainty little fingers in there? It like I can squirrel around. Listen. Like I said, I like a tongue around the gooch in the asshole area. Okay. I like how sensitive what it is What if the there. tongue goes in a little bit, a little... That don't bother me. <laughs> that don't bother me. I remember I had this girl in Texas. I flew over there because she wanted to eat my butt. Uh-huh. And I was like, ah, fly over flew there. Flew all the way to Texas. Well, for... she paid for it. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Wow. I, That's I'm, nice. I'm young poppy. I'm okay. really the Don Bandito out here. There's no games out here. <laughs> It truly is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know like, confidence is weird in comedy and shit like that. And, and amongst 
people like us. No. But I have what confidence. I, like, actually, what I, what I, what I, confident until they take a dick in the ass. What I, I don't want a dick oh, in the sorry. ass, though. But I want to... What I find in comedians Yo. is that everyone is <laughs> overly uh, But I'm not a rapist. I know you're not a rapist. So fortunately, I do Thank have God. some morals. We can Thank just get God. him on some scopolamine and you can do whatever well, you want. Let's go get some poppers. Scopolamine is the fucking magic drug in South America that they fucking... And this is why I don't believe... Hold on. What? She just what? Said some but, but, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. She just said, go get some poppers. And this is why I don't believe that man can re- achieve an orgasm mm-hmm. through, through the ass without the help. ass because you need Poppers to just have open pop- it up they just they open just it relax up. The because muscles. you know why those gay dudes realized that oh i'm not coming through this i gotta no, like play no, with no, my no, dick no. i love the gay agenda conspiracy theory yeah. that you have about gay men and yes, anal yes. so they're just like well we don't like it either but we need to get other people going on they, this so, like the everybody thing, they just love men so <laughs> fucking yes because they love men so much <laughs> They love men. There's they love enough being around men, men. to go around. Yes, They're, but they need a con. No, it's not. Yes, that's not true. Are. That's not true. That's they not true. They are fifty-one Less... percent of the world population. No. There I'm are talking about gay men. men. I'm talking about gay men. I'm talking about gay men. Okay. Right. So gay men have this one. Is, per- gay men. All have, men have the potential gay to be men, gay. Yes. But gay men right now only have after you. less than one percent. think less than one percent of the population. They have less than one percent of the population. Listen, so they always get a recruit, listen, right? Listen, so that's no. why they always got to be like, oh yeah, you come through your asshole. Do you see my eyes rolling through the back yes, of my head? Yes, I do. Poppy Bandito, okay. I know, I know that you have a very healthy amount of self esteem, but I guarantee you the gays are not after you. Not after me. I'm, but they do like the challenge of <sighs> having a straight gay, having a straight man, flirt. straight gay man. They'll that's flirt, the, but that's they're the not. Way. They're not it's, really. That's it's not, like the most. That's not true. Game that's bullshit. You're bullshitting right now. Why? You're bullshitting right now. Because you I hang out with gay men, okay, and they love fucking straight dudes. They like turning. Well, straight dudes, right? They like turning a straight. Do you think they're just like? Like talking shit to me. I don't think you're, anybody you're, can actually be you turned. You can't hear me out. You yes, are, you're gay, gay. is such. You are who you are. But the, everyone loves There's the lie. A everyone loves the lie, though. Everyone loves to pretend, right? That there is gay and straight. Yes. No. No. <laughs> Everyone loves to pretend. That, I guess you're right. Yes, that, that they can that turn statement people. Is right. Yes, people. people everybody people, likes to pretend that it's it's, black it's, the, it's gay machismo. Saying yes. I can turn the straight oh. guy. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's like when you finally like get the straight girl to like be your girlfriend a while, yes. and then you're like, cool, cool. I'm gonna destroy your life. Bye. Yep. Like you've done that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yo, my brother, my older brother, like I'm I sexual over in all of you. <laughs> my, my. This is why you scare me, you fucking Scorpio. Scorpios are wild, bro. My mom was a Scorpio. I know. At the last girlfriends I've been with have been Scorpios, and like, y'all different. But they're great in bed. They are. They I know. really. My it's, girls, fire. I'm an Aries, but you know, they're Scorp in my chart. That's all I got. That's all I got to claim. <laughs> See, my mother is an Aries. So we are natural enemies. Why the fuck, dude? Don't tell me that. I don't know. Your I... mom and you are natural enemies. Well, you get along yes, with your mom. Natu- so, no. No. so my mom, no. No. my mom's. No. So we both have mom issues. Look That's why me. we get along. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. yeah. You think I had a good relationship with my mom? Like, <laughs> we have dicks tattooed on us. Yeah. I, I, like, some people get them. Oh, I got a vibrator next tattoo. to some yeah. body panties. Oh, like, like some people get them drawn on them at parties. I had them permanently tattooed on me. So, right. You know. Yo, it's wild work. I was no you go when they accept me with tattoos like and I was job. like yeah of course and I looked at your tattoos like nah I did not <laughs> nah nah maybe nah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta wear long it's sleeves it's about love what's the problem interracial love it, well inner demonic inner demonic inner demonic yeah. yeah. inner special yeah but they're both love. demons they both have horns so your girlfriend's hot Ooh. is that what you were saying my girlfriend what about your girlfriend being hot she's beautiful I love yeah, her yeah where's she from she's from the bay Oh, Bay Area. Oh, I just got back from the Bay Area. Yeah. yeah. I went to Los yeah. Altos High School for a little while. Is Where? she a Berkeley girl? Los Altos, right by Menlo Park, right no. under Palo Alto, mm-hmm. under San Francisco. No. Mm. She's I wanted bro- to know how much, like, Lululemon she had, but no, not yeah, a she Lululemon has some, She has nah, some, she's an ALO girl. A-L-O. Oh, I'm not cool anymore. I don't know. Yeah, that's a Lululemon of today. I'm out of the loop. Yeah. Lululemon, the like. fuck is an ALO? They, Lululemon went bankrupt. There's a whole, like, documentary about. Yeah, because like, they, they were doing, like, whack shit. Child labor. There was that, but there's also this shit wasn't as popping as they tried to make it seem. Uh, no, the shit was all falling apart. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Do you want to do one more porn and call it? I can't, mm, not really. No? 
I mean, if you guys do, I'll do no, it. No, I was just wondering. I was looking at the clock. Hey, guys, what do you want? Oh, you don't know either? <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, then down this below. This isn't live. We should do a live show at some point. We should do a live show. We just need more listeners. Let's do it from autos. Sure. Why Shrunken not? head? Yeah. Don't you love auto shrunken head? you love head? it? <laughs> <laughs> we could do it from St. Vitus. We could do it from the tiny cupboard. Like hey, if you have a venue and you want us to do a podcast or from you, it. You could do it if... You sell 60 tickets to at Dope Dope, 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 Dope Comedy, Comedy Club. <laughs> so yeah, but we got to sell 60 tickets. Yeah, sell 60 tickets. And all shows at autos are free. We can make it free. But how we do I sell tickets? <laughs> make sure they come. Uh, yeah. But you got to buy a drink. We, we need... always make sure they come. Yeah, yeah. you do. <laughs> You're a Scorpio, of course. Yeah. yeah. I just make You're, sure I come. Can I say something? Facts. About Scorpios? What? Except for my, the, except for my current girlfriend, apparently. But Scorpios let me have butt sex. Yeah, because they're fucking kinky. You know, yeah. their whole thing is sex and death. Scorpios are all what? about the duality. Oh sex, God, and violence. Cool. sex and death. Sex and violence. Sex, so, and violence. sex and violence. And so am I. Sex Whoa. and violence. But I'm an Aries Libra with a Capricorn moon, but there's Scorpio in my chart, and I think that's why I'm obsessed with the death. The only girl I live with, I've lived with, was really about sex and death. Like, it was like, damn. And she was like a Scorpio. Like, she was like, no. Did she wait until like the first power outage of the year to do anal, or <laughs> was she just casual all I, season? I, you know about what? Because you know the living I'm, relationships that's that's very important. I'm, Usually you get the I'm anal. I'm so around happy the you months. said that because when I I'm so happy you brought that up because I tell you what we were breaking up mm -hmm. and then she was like and she decided to do I'm anal gonna give with you me. my ass. Yes. You ain't going and you, nowhere. You will stay if I give you Sting. my ass. And, but she knew that she she wasn't gonna keep. She knew she, she wasn't. She just wanted to do it. But she was. Uh, she wanted to do it. Yeah. And by the way, not only did she take it like a champ, mm -hmm. she didn't want lube. She wanted the pain. Spit. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Spit on it. The only girl that didn't do spit. When was she born? Well. This is such a girl conversation we're having with you, like checking yeah, out I people's birth times and charts. I'm Dominican. What does that mean? You're not a girl. I'm Latino. Latinos believe in all this oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Supernatural shit. Yeah. I you got the bruja. I, I got the brujaita. They do like Santeria, like Santeria. out of the And the eggs the under the bed. And, and, and I believe, not only that, the reading the, of the coffee. Oh, you ever heard and of the leaves. The leaves. leaves. leaves reading, yeah. The coffee reading is Dominicans. It's different. Oh, okay. That's only. So, like, we do this shit where you burn the coffee in a teacup. And I'm not saying it's all real, but what I will say is there's some shit that's like kind of. Well, I believe in energy, so therefore kind of I believe in some things like this can be yeah, prognosticated. Yeah, energy connects and navigates yes. through the universe. There is like synchronicity. on a map. You can I ask you guys a question? I don't believe in the secret, but I believe in synchronicity. Go on. Can I ask you a question about anal? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so my girl... Oh, fuck. So I'm sorry, baby. If you're mad at this, I promise you I Baby won't. girl, we ain't mad at you at all, but all oh. we're saying is... She's mm, beautiful. I love her to death. But she does like try. butt plugs. I like butt plugs. She likes butt plugs, but she but hasn't gotten into the anal yet. I wear butt plugs. Yes. Like you'll well, get there. I'll wear them. You think so? You'll get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. She's so? on her way. You know what you do next? Yeah. What? You get a glass dildo. Okay, something not too big. You a wear, glass listen, dildo. Listen, I wear butt plugs while I watch movies. You no know, way. and then we will. You get a nice silicone yeah. one. You can do a full like squats workout with it in. You yep. can do like your whole thing. You can, you can walk around with that in you. Like yeah, all you day. ever gone for a hike with a butt plug? It's in? sexy. You it is so sexy. It's. So fun because yeah. all day you're like, nobody knows I'm being dirty. It's like driving <laughs> with like pounds of drugs in your car. You're like, nah, you don't know. <laughs> I'm doing something bad. <laughs> well, I've, I've driven with drugs in my car with a butt plug and that's an extra. And you pull up next to a cop and you're just like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you so know. wait, what was the Tell actual me question? Them. My question was like, I want to do anal with her. I want to be like. Warm her up with the glass still though. Hmm? Warm up with the glass. Yeah, dildo. just warm up the glass. The... Dildo. <laughs> warm up you the glass. Can, you can put it in the freezer. You can put it. You can warm it. Mm -hmm. But either way, like glass is great because it's tempered. Mm -hmm. You can play with temperature. It moves and cleans very easy. easy. Easily. And yeah. when you're playing with it, you don't have to worry about friction being a discomfort element. Oh yeah. shit! Wait, what about the fucking uh, metallic or the silver or the? It's okay, but does that not fuck as with good. the friction? I, I mean, so. if you're are I you use talking them? about with the butt plug, I have them. As long as you're using plug, a good yeah. water base, I just spit on my aluminum yeah. ones. Nah, it's fine. I'm gonna be real. We don't you, use whenever she at whenever she asked me to use the blood the butt plug, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You spit on it. I we usually spit. 
Honestly, the truth that's is, fine. if I'm being real, you I'm pussy get mad wet, so like I use some that's of that. Fine. There's you know that's fine. That's all normal. That's hot. beautiful. You get her to deep throat that glass still, though, and lube it up herself, yeah, and she... let her do it. Yeah. Let I, her do it. I mean, that just comes naturally to me. I didn't know anyone had Stimulate to be instructed the clip for her to do and that. just slide because the glass in. I, yes. That's awesome advice. You do the clip that's play. Really why do we have to tell you that? I tell you why. I tell you why. Because girls are not with me they're not like really like trying to do anal right why you, you got that big that. of a dick how big is it <laughs> is that what you're trying to tell us it's just that big your dick I was is trying huge to tell you that. your dick is so big it's not, it's not that big but it's huge you're scaring all the women. is it like a monster can pringles can do they feel it sound like goldilocks when they see it and they're like well <laughs> maybe show me on the red bull <laughs> how big your what dick your is what your cock is like <laughs> all right what is this like six inches I don't know. It's Seven. definitely six ounces. Here. It's eight ounces. It's like one, two, three. It's about it's about six, I'd say. About six, right? Yeah, yeah. five or six inches. So like, let's say two inches. That's bigger than a six-inch cock. It's like, yeah, that's I think like it's a, a five-inch shorty. That's a fucking eight. So that's not an eight. Maybe. That's definitely not an, an eight. An eight-inch? My no, husband that's is gotta uh, be like, My really? husband's a ten. Eight-inch would be like there. So I'm like, depending on how hard I am, I'm like. Who are we talking about dick <laughs> <laughs> My husband's dick size. My husband's dick size. Are you circumcised? I'm not. I'm Dominican. We don't really do that shit. That's nice. You can get mutilated. That's cool. Um, girls don't. It's interesting because like nobody ever mentioned that shit till I got older. But how you, you need to like pull it back and clean it? No, 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 no. I knew that okay. Okay, since good. I was seven. Oh, good. great. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> some guys don't understand that. Well, yeah. they don't, that's because they, they understand it when I puke. <laughs> So I knew about smegma mm -hmm. when I was seven because I experimented in the shower. I was like, "What? Is, what is this white right, shit?" Right, right. And I smelled it. I almost died. <laughs> and I was like, "This is not supposed to be here. Yeah. It smells that it's bad." Cottage cheese. It's, it's bad. cottage cheese. But what they don't tell you when you're not circumcised, it does hurt to pull back at first because mm. it's very sensitive around mm -hmm. the dickhead. Right? I don't. By the way, if you, mo I think I have a I have a theory. Most dudes are like deep throat, small penises. I think not it's true. a power thing. It's, it's not, a power thing? It's yeah. a power thing. Power and control. Okay. It's psychological. And even that goes in two different directions because there's a very dom deep throat yeah, and there's a very What's a dom deep throat? dominant, like dominant, dominant and submissive you know what BDSM. Is, but where like, dom deep throat is like when they pull their hair and they, you know, maybe block their nose up, cut the breathing, and like fucking take it, force bitch. the head down, as yeah. opposed to a sub taking on the role in deep throat and deciding. I'm gonna when do this. It comes down or being forced, you know. So mm. you know, there's the whole difference between like willful deep throat and throat fucking. Throat fucking, I love, but you know. See, I'm not about the throat fucking. I I'm just it. like, I'm in charge here. Oh, I love it. I want them to grab. If my... I don't want to be like, I mean, I'm into fucking BDSM, but when it comes to a dick in my mouth, I'm in charge because I, I have the fucking teeth. I want. So don't fuck with. Well, me. because I have the teeth, I feel safe. I just want my. I want to be grabbed and like told how much they want it and just forced down on that cock and like right in the back of my oh, throat. One girl made me say, "I love you." Oh, that's weird. Within the, the I mean, it was the first date. Oh, Is it the girl God. you're with now? No, I wish, but um, she was hot, huh? No, she wasn't. Oh. She actually catfished me. Oh, so she me. needed validation Yo, real bad. she gave me the best head I ever got in my life. Well, she really needed validation. She, it was um, like the like everything you could think of, mm -hmm. she was doing. So she should get a job, do what you love, do what you're good at, never do it for free. She Facts. should be going pro. Facts. She, you know what it is? She was a sub-sub. Like yeah. She was like, she liked being like, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I do, yeah. She needed. No, to be no, 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 no. Okay, I shouldn't say so. She like being demeaned. She like. She, oh, she was humiliated. A little bit of humiliation. Humiliation. Yeah. She like humiliation. Yeah. I don't like humiliation that much because I'm a. I don't like it either. I'm it's a fine that line. gangster. I wanted to humiliate it ain't her. Gangster <laughs> to be a sob. Well, he's talking about girls that want to be humiliated. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like being so. I like being. I'm still thinking out. about pegging you. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. get you. Dude, I'm gonna get you. And you know, you wanna go not... pop over to the gym real quick? <laughs> it's not cheating. It might not be cheating. I mean, by I Christian like, uh, logic, if I fuck you in the ass, you're still a virgin. Yeah, you can still be a kid. Yeah, you're making Catholic. me feel like I'm on Nightmare on Elm Street. Good. You know what I mean? One, Welcome to two, Alien Murder. Adrian's sex. coming for you. you. Three, <laughs> four, get your butt hole. Um, Get your ass insured. <laughs> five, six. You gonna take this plastic dick. dick. 
Seven, eight, eight, eight. Homie, you ain't straight. <laughs> Nine, ten, never sit again. <laughs> You're really good at that. I'm so good. I'm, I'm terrible at making up songs. You're like the best. Her, Josh Padlet is good at making up songs. We were talking about me. No, yes. <laughs> that was my scope of you, son. Don't even. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. It's my show. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, where are we at? What do we oh, want to do right now? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good, and we're y'all good. have been great, and you've been not, awesome. I'm, I'm not editing one minute of this. No, I want all of it. It's I want the in. full Monty, even the inside baseball talk. Like, I want it. the fucking money shot on this one. Just like everything, everything, everything. weird about this episode. I want yeah, his fucking gay face and all of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, you got a pretty face. Pretty <laughs> face. Yo, it's fun. It's fun. Don't being... you want to throat fuck him? Yeah, absolutely. I was just saying this at work the other day. Is that, that you want someone to throw it? Fuck you. That's a weird thing to say at work. That's not what I said. At work. <laughs> Why they grab your curls? <laughs> <laughs> I like your curls, boy. I like your curls, Squeal like boy. a pig. <laughs> no, I was just saying, like, what is it where you like you um when you think someone's sexy and like you like you like constantly holler at them? Mm-hmm. What is that called? Like that? What you just said? Like flirt, flirting, there's, there's like a stalking, flirting? not what? flirting, not fl- <laughs> sexual not fl- tension. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> that's flirting. <laughs> I want to be sexualized. Oh, you want to be objectified? Like, I wanna, I'll, objectified. I, I, I love I'm objectifying the fuck out of yeah. you yeah. right now. You're a little I mean, more than we've a fuck been doll objectified. To me. Like, I know you, you guys on. are making my dream come true. I love being objectified. I'm yeah. gonna sodomize you and then kick your ass <laughs> into the East River. You mean nothing to me. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, but that's, so, I may take a, a slab of your meat just for later when I get hungry. I like would, you're she not She needs human. it. Look at her. No, she needs no. to eat, and you have plenty of meat for her. Uh, you sh- come on. So that's what I was saying. I was like, I want to like get. Sexy enough where I'm objectified constantly. Mm. You want to feel you like should you're have, you should have been born a woman. Oh yeah, you would have been a porn star. I don't think I'll be a porn. No, because you want to be objectified all the time. Those no, 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 no. I want to. I want to make money. Well, yeah, that's they make money. money. They make money. Not enough. Not, enough. not from Are the stories you kidding, I've heard. Not dude. from the stories I've heard. Well, you're not hearing talking. To they the right don't porn invest stars. right. Like yeah. you take a look at what was it? Sasha Gray. We were talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, Sasha Gray is the most amazing porn star. They did all the investments, and now she's out and has a whole career on like Twitch, and she doesn't do porn Word? anymore. Word. Dude. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You can retire hold on, hold on. like a fucking NFL player. Yeah. But here's porn. the problem with what you, what you just said. What? You said that she retired as a porn star so I didn't make money on Twitch. No, no, no. She, she made, never made no, money no, on her porn no, star you're not shit. understanding. She made all of the money doing porn. She invested yeah. it wisely. Did she? And now she can travel okay. the world and just live kind of doing streaming for fun and she lives off her investments. That's dope. That's Sasha, that's, Sasha, that's Sasha Gray. That's fire as fuck. She's our saint. Sasha yes. Gray. Sasha Gray uh-huh. should have a candle uh-huh. here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sasha Gray right Sasha next Gray, to Uncle Dave. Sasha Gray, yes. I think who else yes. is doing See, well? I remembered his name. I, mean, I cared enough. Fire. I don't know how you think, did yeah, that. I want to know. What's your uncle's number? Uh, he alive he's still? He has a... He, he's Ouija a, board? He buried? Ouija board? He we has can a contact fiance. Him. Oh, so he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, we she thought cute? Was, she cute. She cute? She cute? She got tattoos on her titties Well, Dave fucks, so we know that she's cute. Dave fucks. Oh, oh, Dave fucks. Dave fucks. Dave, let they me say third? Dave ain't the... <laughs> Dave... No, they would kill you. Dave... Because you, he would like it. Uh, <laughs> Dave... Dave... Let me say something. Not the most attractive man in the world. Yeah, but he knows what's up and he's funny, right? He knows Well, to him he's funny, is. but yeah, he's funny. I know. He's funny. I've Especially dated, amongst the, the regulars. I've dated and fucked so many ugly guys that made me laugh. Dude, he could make you laugh. He's also, by the way, salt of the earth kind of guy. Yeah. He... My uncle. So afterwards, he's gonna like braid our hair and like feed us, and he'll do all that. He's gonna tuck me. In. Watch he the X Files. He, with he me. probably won't braid your hair because he doesn't have the he doesn't have dexterity. the dexterity yeah. to do that. But he will he will make you the best chicken cutlet you ever had, right? Fried chicken cutlet and braids. And you do his. There's thing. no sexual tension between you and your uncle, right? No, nah, no, nah, he's nah, never nah, given nah, you a nah. sponge bath. Like right? you don't want to fuck your uncle secretly. Nah, but my uncle is like a guy that like I look up to as a man, right? Right, so like I I know that he's a stand up dude. He doesn't fucking um he doesn't talk shit about. I never heard him talk shit in the years that I've known him about anybody. That's great, anybody, even the people that did him wrong. Mm-hmm. He'll go, he did me wrong, but you know what? For ten years, I thought he was a good guy, so he must have been a good guy. So he's got to listen to this episode. I'm never gonna show him. This oh, episode. I'll find him. Oh We're my gonna god, show please! It. Yeah, come on. We're gonna find Dave. Show We're it to his fiance. This. 
I'm gonna stalk your Facebook and find. That's it. what you do. Send it to I'm his tatty titty fiance. <laughs> hot tatty titty fiance that hot comes. Hot tatty titty fiance. <laughs> she comes all the time oh from God. Uncle Dave. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Dave. He found her clit and he saved the day. <laughs> That's this has been out. Alien Murder Sex, Sex. and I Damn. thank everyone so much for being here. Would you like to shamelessly drop your handle real quick? And then uh, we'll... Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Wild Kev Sanchez on Twitter, Wild Kevin Sanchez on YouTube. Shit is coming through. And... He's afraid of Scorpios and pegging. <laughs> Those are his fears. Like that should be on your bio. Fears, Scorpios, uh, pegging. pegging. Yes, I am at the Lauren Petrie. That's gonna be my fat things. life. Your fat life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot about fat life. Yeah, it's at the Lauren Petrie. It's at Alien Murder Sex. Oh, right. Yeah, I give your hair a kiss and give your hair a kiss and, you know, maybe attend and a bedpan fight. And at Cuss Kiss on, what uh, is it? At Cuss a Kiss. A Kiss Cuss. A, a Kiss Cuss. I was mixing Look, up. Look, guys, I just, I will share your shit on Twitter. <laughs> I am there because of this. I ain't there for your drama. Oh, there's so much good drama on Twitter. All right, guys. You keep, bring your drama to my house when you book an appointment at yeah. giveyourhairkiss.com, though. You keep fighting and you repost us on libs of TikTok and piss, uh, piss people off. Do crime. Do crime. Keep rent low. We mm. love you. Please come. That's a big belief for the boy. Mm, yes. Do crime, See you next week, low. motherfuckers. Peace. Bye.